Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. What up, what up, chat? <clears throat> What's up with y'all today, man? How's y'all Thursday treating you? We finna get some golf kicked off. And then after that, after that, listen, listen, listen. We finna get into some Sherlock Holmes, man. We finna play some Sherlock Holmes after some golf today. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. Jason, what's good with it, man? Thanks for the shares, bro. John, what up, what up, Buck? What's good with you, man? All right, let's see. Societies, online societies. What's up with it, Dwayne? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Are we in Augusta? Okay, let's go then. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to play some Sherlock Holmes after golf today, man. Hello there and welcome back to this. See if we can't Sunday. solve some crime. Today we find ourselves at the Tarwa Golf Club. I think it's time to get going. Let's do it. Hey, it's time to get going. Let's, Let's do, do it this. then. It is time to drop this in the fairway. I know I can't wait either, Connor. I can't wait either. And with that, your round has begun. Have a good one. I needed to bounce left. Nothing wrong with that. This one's about 175 to the pin. We rolling. We rolling, rolling, rolling. Nice. Chat, what's up with y'all, man? How y'all doing today, man? What it is, what it do, what it do, what it does, what's going on with it. Get in that chat box, chat it up, chop it up now. Also, too, hit those reactions for me. Let me know how y'all are doing today. Let's get it rolling. I know I'm a little bit late. Oh, it's getting there. Damn. Yeah, I could do that okay, time to Yeah, I can't up. wait. I can't wait. Man, it's smoky as hell out there. There must be a fire in the background somewhere. Yeah, there might be. I had a round yesterday. I think I have to get out of this Xbox controller on my PC. Even par after the first hole. Good to see. Damn, I forgot to open up my thing on my coffee. Teeing off on a par three. What's up, way to Rocky? Oh, what up, what up? Yeah, you got to stop messing around with that controller. Look at this shot right here, though. That's what you need to be doing is looking at this shot. Yeah, you'll take that. Here's what Gaming app is the only third. reason I'm here. Regular app still is no notification. That shit is broke, terrible, extra, absolutely horrendous. Look, but all I could do is let them know. You know what I mean, brother? Uh, great All right, what happens from there? That's out of my control. I have let them know. Every time y'all tell me something, I let them know. Don't think that I don't let them know when y'all tell me something. I let them know. Right, staying right. Man, hey, listen. Hey, I also got that new uh, fishing game. I think it's called Call of the Wild Fishing. I'm really looking forward to getting into that as well. But after golf today, after golf today, we're playing some Sherlock Holmes, yo. We gonna go solve some crimes and murders and mysteries and all kinds of shit. So that should be a vibe. I hope it's good, man. Rocky, what up? What up? Bounce right. Yeah, there you go. Now you listening to Daddy? Yards from here. setting up in the green What's up side? with it, man? I'm gonna try to flop this one on in there. Let me get my flopper out real quick. If I can't flop this thing off in there now. Oh, I almost flopped it right on in too. Jerry, what up? What up? For birdie. 
Okay, and uh, moving I'm on. I'm feeling so good today so far, man. We just had to see see what happens with it. It's going to bring it down to one under par. And now we're teeing up. On the Elizabeth, how you doing this morning? All right, let's go, baby. Oh, he shanked it. Oh man, heading to the bunker. But that's all right, though. All right, we're in the fairway bunker. That's all right. At least yeah. I can get over this water. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh no. Oh no. We won't be getting that. Oh one back. no, I knew it. I knew it right when I hit it. God. Damn it. Oh my goodness. I knew it right when I hit it, man. This one's looking pretty dialed. Okay. What's up with it, Tyree? How you doing, brother? Okay, let's grab Donald, what up, what up? And be on our way. Damn, man. A fucking bogey. Ouch. A double bogey. Ouch. What's up with it, Deshaun? How you doing, brother? Drop this for double. How you been, man? All right, How's everything going? How's here? the new place going? And after that one, How's shit going? Your yeah, ass must have been busy lately. This one's a par three. A par tree. A partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Feels so good outside today. Well, you need to take your ass outside then. Stop being all up in the house. Look at this shot. Can he get the bounce he needs? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Nice. That Ain't getting it together? Hell yeah, club. Deshaun. And here we go good job, Joe man. Birdie. I know you're going through a lot right so now. A lot on your plate. Get in there. So you to be, you know what I'm saying, capitalizing off of that. That's really good. That's in there for par. I work outside with males and females. Hey, what I, hey, I get it. I get it. On the sixth hole now. Oh, you better travel faster! Oh my God! Yo, Chris, what up? What up? Careful getting out of here. Might not get all the distance you want. Oh my goodness! Step. This is right on the border. I'm not sure if it's going to be rough or fairway. I appreciate you, bro. I really and do. Hey. Third shot and four. You doing it, man? You know what I'm saying? And going through times like that is tough to keep it together. So, congratulations to you, man. Kudos to you. Okay, on the green safely. Donald, what's up with it, man? We have a very long putt to contend with. You gonna get that new uh, war zone, Deshaun? Yo, Cody, how you doing, man? TJ, what up? What up? Donald, what's good with it, brother? Mm. Okay, well put. Now let's move on. And you're one over par currently. I ain't gonna lie, I'm looking forward to that Sherlock Holmes. That shit looks good. Y'all wanna see it real quick? Hold on, I'll show y'all it real quick. This one is a par three hole. I'm I'm I like stuff like that though, like that murder mystery type shit. I'll show it to y'all real fast. I don't know why I can't get the audio to work. This is it right here though. I can't get the audio to work. But we're gonna play this after golf today. We're gonna go solve some murders. And, and try to piece together these mysteries and all that stuff. <clears throat> Today is the last day of heat. 105 degrees. Saturday is supposed to be 61. Yeah, hey, I'm ready for the cool weather. 
I'm ready for the cool weather. I don't know. Y'all might not like stuff like this, but I do. But I do. <laughs> we gonna be young Sherlock after golf today, y'all. Young Sherlock. Oh my goodness. No, get down. What the fuck? This approach is heading right. Oh, land right there. Perfect. Okay, here's our second Perfect. shot here on the That's exactly hole. where I wanted to put it. Right there on that piece. I mean, you couldn't hit it no better. That was just an absolutely wonderful shot. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Good job. Okay, time to finish up on this one. Let all right, take a gander. I got to clip that. Card. Just one over at the moment. What's up with it, Jim? Here comes Jim, you heard what I'm playing after uh, golf today, right? Did you hear what I'm playing after golf today? Also, too, Jim, I forgot to tell you last night. I would just have so much shit going on. Oh. Uh, I did stop by the P.O. box and I picked all that up. So I'll start getting it sent out uh, Monday, Monday and Tuesday here. I know, but hey, you see where I landed, though, is the thing on that. Right. Nah, I didn't. We're going to be playing the Sherlock Holmes game. We're going to be being a damn... We're going to solve some murders and mysteries. Let's head towards the hole. After golf today. After golf. Marking down a birdie on that one. Nice. After golf. Okay. Even par at the moment. I got... Buck, did you see that new fishing game they got out? See, that's why you got to get a PC, bro. Tying this one up on the ninth now. Yeah, they got a new fishing game out. I'll show you real quick. Hold up. This one. This one looks good. It's called Call of the Wild Angler. We're going to be playing this, too. I don't know if we'll play it today, though. We might play this one tomorrow. But I picked this up. I uh, call the wild the angler. So it's a fishing game. We could play this, but I want to play Sherlock Holmes. But we're definitely going to be playing this. I picked this one up today. And you know, I love fishing, so we're definitely going to be on this. All the wild. I think I did a book report in middle school on that. Did you? Well, I know the hunting game of this was really good. I don't hunt, but the reviews were like, they were superb. This just come out like about a week ago. All right, let's get back to golf. Let's get back to our original programming. What you selling it for? Beautiful swing. What you selling it for, Hunter? We might be able to do a giveaway with it. Might be able to raffle it off. And here's our second shot on the nine. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be on that, Jim. You can bet that. Safely on the green, and this putt would take you down to one under. Oh. 
Uh, rolled right by. Mm. Okay, let's finish up. Mm. And move it along. <clears throat> yeah, let me know what you want for it, Hunter. We might be able to raffle it off. I named one uh one lucky supporter could win it. Do like okay, a supporter giveaway with it. On the tenth hole. You need to come sing you the bass in the scum. I will, Brit. I will, I will. Just not today. <laughs> I will though, I will see it. Yo, Steven, what up, what up? Nicely done. And this one's about 180 yards out. And four strokes back. Nice approach. This putt is daunting to say the least. Hopefully we can can this. Brandon, what up, what up, brother? How you doing today, man? John, what's up with it? Muhammad, I see you. Chat, make sure y'all hitting those reactions for me, y'all. It does help us content creators out tremendously. Good. All right, well done. Tremendously. Richard, what's up with it, man? How you doing today? Here we go. Time to kick it off on the 11th hole. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What's up with it, Trey? On the approach, you saw that one, didn't you? Five feet left to go. This putt's good. So I needed far. that. that was a good putt. I needed that. All right, that hole will bring you down to one under par. Needed that, coach. Okay, a longer par four on this hole. Nice swing. You on fire today now. Yeah, we shooting pretty good right now. I feel pretty good, you know what I mean? On the twelfth. I feel pretty good. Come on, kick left. Kick left, like he said. Approach shot worked out just fine. Excited about the shot. Yeah, I am too, Muhammad. I am too, bro. It's it, We're firing it off right after golf today. Right after golf. I've been looking forward to it. Get there. Oh, man. How you been, Muhammad? This putt's How you and the fam doing? Good to see you in the chat, brother. All right, Sean, what up, what up? Staying at one under after that one. And team oh, I know that. I know that, Britt. Hole number 13. Yo, Daniel, how you doing, man? Matthew, what up, what up? Job. How you doing today, brother? Chat, make sure y'all are hitting those reactions for me, y'all. Please. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, third shot. And four strokes off the lead. See if I can't flop this one on in there. This might be a flopper. Oh, no. Too much on it. Cut here. Let's just pop what are the specs here. that will be good enough for GTA? Just as long as you're running, like, honestly, 16 gigs on the RAM side will get you where you need to be at. Oh nice my chip. god, that should have been in there. That should have been in there. Give this a tap that should have been in there. 
All right, see what the scorecard says. Yeah, because you're just going to be playing the game, you know what I mean? So 16 yeah, gigs will get you where you need to be at. One under. 32 is really what you want. And you won't really have, like, you know, no texture issues or anything like that. But 16 will allow you to play the game for sure. What's up with it, Danny? Nice. Okay, this one's about 135 to the pin. And four strokes back at this point. That's going to work just fine on the approach. Yes, it is. Now if I could just make the putt. Looking pretty good. There it is, coach. It's in there. It's your fourth birdie of the day. And currently sitting at two. Yeah, absolutely, Jim. Let's see what happens on the 15th hole of this course. Let's get a little kick left here. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, Johnny Likey. Well, as long as Johnny Likey, that's all that Maddie. That one drops, and that's your. What's up with it, Splat? In a row, the makings of a streak, perhaps. And you currently sit at three under par. Might be providing a little bit of pressure today. Here we go. Par Just a little bit out. now. I gotta get all this one to get over that hump. Here comes the sand. Damn. You know, this is very, very sandy in this. Damn. Good job there. Back in the fairway. Back in the fairway again. Shot. Just two strokes I'm away back. from the here. Yeah, we'll have that. What's up with it, Trish? You could go to four under if this goes down. Oh, come on. Get ah. in. Ah. Michael, what up, what up? Too much I had the right idea, I just didn't uh, finesse it. Damn. Uh, well, nothing you can do about it now. It's shut up. Bogey, putt in and move on. Okay, safely home with that. So with it for us? Damn, man. And teeing up now on the 17th. Really nice swing. Oh, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Damn. Well, better luck next time. Yeah, you can this. Too you can fast. Say it's not really moving. It should be straight in for the most part. Yeah. Uh, okay, bogey, putt, coming oh up. Oh, my God, dude. That one goes down. I got to tighten up. A bogey. Got to tighten up, and chat. Back-to-back -back bogeys. It's going to put you up to one under par. I need two Let's birdies to bounce back. Two birdies will bounce me back. Or one eagle. be a good result off the tee here okay we're about 205 to the pin from here and four strokes from the lead oh. 
setting up for our third shot. Andrew, four strokes away from the lead. All right, three feet to the cup. All right, so here's one of the birdies that I needed. And your birdie putt drops on the What's up with it, Buck? Rod, what up, what up? Mikey, how you been, bro? Two I ain't seen you in here in a minute. Here. Well, done. well, I had a good time out there today. Ah, thanks, man. Let's go down the red to the bottom of the field and see what he's got to say. See you real soon. Man, look. We got out there. Today's our first round. We still got three more to go. I feel really solid going into the day. I felt good going off the front nine. We kind of got off track on the back nine, but I think we will get back on it and see what we can do. I'm looking forward to get back out there and get on that second round. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey there. My name is John, and I'm glad to see you right about now. Round two is just about to kick off for you. Yo, Mikey, I see you with the 365. I appreciate that, brother. Let's ball into the fairway and uh, begin our round. And best of luck to you as you endeavor in this society tournament. Second shot here on the first. Oh, come on, have a seat for us now. This is what our third shot's looking like. Oh, this could go, chat. Damn. And here we go, par putt coming up. Yeah, I'm in there, coach. This putt's tracking. I'm in there, coach. Oh, that'll, that'll do just What's up, Matthew? I see you with a 733. Isaiah, what up, what up? Two under. Teeing off on a par three hole for this one. Could this be a hole in one? Could it be? Oh, could it be? I like it. I like what you did there. Well, thank Sitting you. As long as you like it, that's all that matters. At the end. Oh no! That's no, going right by the hole. Damn it! Knowledge. And for the par. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's uh, see what we can do on the next hole. What's up with events? Two under for the round. And we're teeing up now on the third. How you been, bro? Great contact. Got about it is knowledge's fault. Here. It's all knowledge's fault. That's why I said, damn it, knowledge. Come on, Bob. Kick right. Yeah, kick right. Get up on that hill and kick right. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> oh. Here on this I one. need this beagle. I need this beagle, baby. Okay, this need one the beagle. Eagle. Need the beagle. Ah! Ah! All right, here we go. This one's for birdie. Damn it, knowledge. And with that, we will move on to the next. Good man. One yeah, more month before I'm back now. in civilization. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Let's see how things go here on the fourth. I'm going the distance. I'm going for speed. Not the cleanest swing, but that's all right. That's all right. I'm in the sand. Over the sand. In the sand. And from the green side bunker. You know what? You know what I like to say? This might go. About a dozen feet to the, the beagle did not wreck <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta make this. I gotta make this. 
God oh. damn it. That's, that's tough. Okay, tap this one on in. Just a tap in on this one. We'll be right. Hey, I'm I'm definitely down, bro. I'm looking forward to Modern Warfare 2. I'm looking forward to the new PGA. Right, gonna keep you at three uh, I'm looking forward to the new Harry Potter Hogwarts. There's a couple games that I'm really looking forward to coming out. I'm looking forward to Marauders. Three Marauders comes out in October. It's going to be a good month. The next two months are going to be good months. Did you and kick your left? Approach is heading right of the pin. Well, that'll do for now. Putt and this one from downtown. This is uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. This one's a short three foot putt. And there we go. Still got to get you on Tarkov, too. Hey, you need to play Marauders. If you like Tarkov, you need to play Marauders. Is what you need to play. I got a gang of killers that run that regularly. Been itching to get back on that. I'm down, man. I'll run if we got people to run with. I just don't like running Tarkov solo. Goes all day. Here's our second shot on this sixth hole. Well, this one might be a little bit long, but let's see what happens. Nice. Ended up just fine after that shot. Yeah, that's just this fine. That's right where I wanted it. Birdie Let me tell wins. you. Oh, that's it's always tough leaving them short. Okay, sinking this will take you down to four under par. And it drops for the birdie. The bird, bird, bird. The bird is a word. Or the five man cruise. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Jay, what's up with it? This might be the hole in one. This might be it, chat. This one's heading for the green. Oh, yeah. Roll back down. Roll all the way in the hole, damn it. That'll do for the approach. Here we go. Birdie putt coming up. Uh-oh. Might be another bird. Might be another bird. Oh, oh. man. This one's just three. Yo, Vince, feet. thanks for the hunter, brother. I appreciate that. Have a good day, man. Okay, let's move on. And that will keep you at four under power. Oh, shit. The professor's back. Oh, shit. Might be able to make a move here. This the is professor short is back in action. Okay, second shot here on the eighth hole. I need to make this. If I make this, then I make it. All right, good luck with this 15-footer. Uh, it's not really moving that much. Putt appears to be online. Putt appears to be online. Well, that one dropped, and that's for birdie. Putt appears to be online. The professor can't go. Hey. Right, and after that, you brought Emma, he's a beast. Down. Yo, he's Thomas, what up, what up? You see he's on 10 under. Let's see what happens here. We get a long par four for this one.
And the tee shot looks like it'll be safe. Easy now. Easy ball. Looks like about 150 yards to go. Five strokes off the lead. Which one am I going for? The one in the back or the one in the front? Am I shooting for this one or am I shooting for that one? I'm confused here. Help! Help! I don't know if I'm going here or if I'm going here. Do you just choose which one you want to go to? I'm going to choose this one then. Oh, fine choice, Red. Fine choice. I'm okay with that. And for a score of six under on the round, if you sink this. Oh, look at this. Right by the hole. Yo, Kobe, what up, what up? just want to tap, and we will mosey on our way. Okay, let's see how... <laughs> he probably uses phones and rulers. Hey, he might. He might. Knowledge, what you got? What you got going on today, brother? Okay, we got a bit What's of a on long the agenda for here. Let's see how this tee shot shapes up. That was an extreme amount of force. This is about 160 to the pin. Oh, 160. That's it. Too easy. Too easy. Nice shot. What up, what up, Ev? Take this putt What's down. good with it, brother? How you doing yeah, today, man? I think this is straight in for the most part. Damn. Ooh, bad luck there. Okay, time to finish this one off. Right, What's good with it, Thomas? Ev, thanks for the like, brother. Gonna run some war zone, just doing some edits at the moment. Stick it nice and close to the pit. What you editing? What are you editing? Look. It's an edit thing, you wouldn't understand. Ain't that crazy? Oh, look at this. Look at this. And yet another green and regulation for you. All right, if you can sink this, snatch a birdie and be on our way. No. Oh, man. No problem, man. How you been? Okay, I've been good, go. brother. This one is for par. Fuck. Okay, we're moving. We're moving to the next. Okay, five under par at the moment. Okay, careful. What's up with it, Angelique? How you doing, woman? Wonder if I can make it over that piece right there. Oop, that's no good. All right, let's leave this sand behind us. What do you say? Well, that's the plan, Stan. I like what you did there. Ah, uh, thanks, fairway, man. Got some distance on that too. I did. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little, I'm gonna get my pitching wedge, and I'm gonna go ahead and flop this right on in the hole with my flopper. Here we go. Drop this and save that par. I need this. I need it. I need it. Okay, well played. Good hit. Appreciate that, brother. And you'll stay. Oh right well. There at always good to down. hear. And always good to hear. Tee this one up on the thirteenth hole.
That'll work. A little play. Setting up here. See if I can't flop this Third right shot. on in there. Flopper won't get it. Nice. Eight feet to the cup. Looking good. And that drops for your fourth birdie Ooh. of the day. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Wesley, what up, what up, man? Under for the round. And here comes hole number 14 at us. Yeah, that'll work. Got about 125 to the pin. Oop, I think we're going in the rough here. No, we're not. Well, you can't hit them all. Shut the fuck up. And this is your third shot. This is going right in the hole. Third shot. In the hole. Damn. Damn. Nice tempo on that chip. Just nice and easy. Well done. Okay, time to head over to the next hole. And you are looking at a six under at the moment. The team, this one up on the 15th hole. This might be a hole in one. This might be a hole in one. Oh, sweet, merciful. Oh, nothing ever goes my way. That almost went in for the ace. Come on. Okay, that's uh, seven. Chat, make sure y'all are hitting those reactions for me, man. I hope everyone's having a good Thursday. Hope your morning's treating you well. Also, too, going into your afternoon. Hope it's great. And make sure y'all smash those reactions for me, y'all. Get over that hump. And we're around about, I'd say, 240, 245 to the pin. There's a green and under regulation for you. Pat yourself on the back. And you've got this left for your eagle. Unlucky. Just missed your I eagle. I can't there. make them damn eagles Tapping. for nothing, dude. Tapping that one in for a Thought about actually play golf. Wonder. I thought about actually play golf. I wonder. You should, man. It's a good game. It's fun. It's relaxing. It really is a good game, though. Yo, Elias, what up, what up? I'm gonna go off this piece right here on the right side and try to roll in the hole. Roll in the hole. Hopefully this one will stick. Okay, ended up nice and safe. Still a little work to do though. All right, let's get a birdie and get out of here. What do you say? Bit long on that one. Setting up here with a four foot putt. Good job. That's Yo, Clarence, what up, what up, man? Par. 
How you doing today, bro? Sitting at eight under for the round. And let's bring this thing home now on the 18th tee. Tee shot's looking nice here. And setting up around 215 yards out. Look at that. Ooh, look at you. Putting for Eagle here. And if you can this, that'll be for Eagle. I gotta make this. 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 This one's a pretty good cool putt. This putt's going. And that's a nice little way to end your round. Dropping that putt for the bird. Great work. Give you a 12, Pat. For the course, if you and start out that, poorly, open a beer. If you start playing 18, you swing club out. <laughs> to have you aboard. Today we start the Robert, what up, what up? Justin, what's good with you, man? That, let's crank this first drive out there and get on our way. Okay, we're off. Have a good one. And second shot here on the first. Come on, get down on that green. Nice shot. That'll that'll do. Here we have a 17 oh foot putt. God. Ah! Right, we've got this I'm talking about car. that barely missed. Barely missed, dude. Okay, moving on. Yo, Jason, what up, what up? Barely missed. And we're starting things off at even par after the first. Damn, look at the professor. 23 under. We're teeing it up on the Are second you kidding hole me? Good job. We're on the green. All right, staring down a birdie putt here. Just going right by the hole. And this is your look at par. All right, let's head Tell him to, to turn his hat. It, man, listen, bro. <laughs> he does it every week, though. That's the crazy thing. Sitting He's, like, really consistent with it. Like, real consistent with it. Let's see what happens here on the third hole. Well, this drive's looking okay. What's up with it, Jonah? How you doing, man? And this one's around 235. How's it Thursday treating you? Okay, here's our third shot. Ah, uh, too much. Too Come much. Nicely. 12 feet left to the hole. They get the bird, though. It's getting there. <sighs> All right, par putt. Okay, that putt's done. Chumbo got rained out of work. Oh, man. Hey, but that's actually good. You know what I'm saying? It's bad, but it's good. It's good because you get a free off day. 
and then also too that uh, that's out of your control up do you get paid for rain days what? i know some people do i know some people do Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, no. No. This is our third shot. Oh, my goodness. We're on the green with that one. I gotta well make done. this. That way I don't lose out. Feet I from gotta the make this. Good. Okay, 11 feet to deal with. That's how it's straight in, so that's good. But still, though, it's a fucking bogey. Bogey one Kenobi. This is a bogey. This one's on a good line. There we go. There's the bogey. Yo, Dolores, Stand what up, what up? When you're sitting at eight under. Teeing it up on the fifth. Damn, man. We were shooting good, too. Oh, get in the hole. Well done. This putt is for birdie. Going towards Get in there, hole. baby. Yep. That's and how you make up for a lost cause right, right there. Back. Birdieing this one. Exactly. Nah, no pay, but it's all good. Could stuff. use a day off. Hell yeah. And you're sitting right there at nine under par after that hole. And here we go with a par five. Oh, that's some. Are you oh, kidding that's me? Too bad. Okay, second shot on the sixth. Ooh, no good. This one's your third. Here they go on that bullshit. All cover witchies. Nice distance out of that uh, fairway bunker. Good job. Here's your fourth shot. Heading for the green. There you go. That's what you want. Oh, yeah, that is what I want. That is definitely what I want. That's going to do just nicely. That is definitely what I want. Okay, nine under is current score. Beom, beom, beom. And now we're teeing her up on the seventh hole. Come on, ball, kick to the right. Yo, Jonah, thanks for the 140, man. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you, man. Okay, this one's from 27 feet. Oh, it's in there. Looking really it's good. It's in there. Let's go. In it goes. Wonderful putt. Yo, Stevie, what up, what up? And we are going to take another look at that. Let's go. Score sits at 10 under par at the moment. And not a long par four on this one. I think it'll land in the fairway. Could could head into the rough though. 
Mm. Second shot here on hole number eight. Ah, way too much. Good luck with this. Way out here. <sighs> Nice three footer to deal with. All right, solid putt. Let's go, man. Ten under for the round. Leo, what up? What up, man? How's your Thursday treating you? Let's see what we can do on the ninth. Great contact. Nice swing. This is clocking in at around 170 yards or so to the pin from here. That didn't feel as clean nope. as I know you can hit it. Nope. Ah, don't know what that was. Just a little off on that approach. This is what our third shot's looking like. Good out. Damn good nice out. Work out of that bunker. Damn good out. And you've got this. Let's go. Par on this Yo, one. Junior, thanks for the share, bro. I appreciate yeah, that. Safely in its home. And sitting at 10 under now for the round. I see you with the exclamation mark notified. Thanks, man. See what you can do here on the 10th hole. Looks like we're heading to the fairway here. And this is about 170 yards to the pin. It's tidy. And this one's for Bird. Mm. All right, let's Damn push it. this hole out. Boy, those things right there be getting the best of me. All right, tapping in for par on this one, heading to the next. Sitting at 10 under after that one. Here we go on the 11th. job with that chip shot okay time to finish I'm on it man in a solid hole tapping in I just hop in the city undecided oh shit you gonna level up your level up under get your levels up all right let's see what we can my bad y'all I'm trying to focus here. right now long par four I'm trying to focus stand by stand by No, 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 no. Get over that. Get over that. Get over that. That's all right. Our I'll take shot that. On the 12th. I'll definitely take that. Okay, we are back on the fairway. Let's uh, regroup and get onto this green now. No. Oh my so goodness! You your fourth shot. I gotta sink this. A 
Well judged on that one. Damn it. All right, let's sink this. I wanted to keep that 10 under. Move on. In the city grinding now. All right. Found out how to get your vacation fit in. War zone. All right. Nine under is your score. Yo, Greg, what up? What up, man? Brandon, what's good with it? The 13th. Chat, make sure y'all are hitting those reactions for me, man. It does help us out a lot. I'm fixing to get on this Sherlock Holmes after this knowledge. Yo, Brandon, thanks for the like, man. Oh, uh, this is risky. Mm, mm, mm. Nope. Close your eyes. I think we're in the rough. Okay, third shot. Here's a 20 foot putt. Uh, it's not too new. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not too new, but it is new. But it's not like brand new. Uh, so the new Sherlock Holmes comes out, I want to say, in two more months. And this is the one before that. And here we go on hole number 14. And then uh, I also got that um, Call of the Wild, that new uh, fishing game. It's called Call of the Wild Angler. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I'm not going to play that today. I'm going to play Sherlock Holmes today after uh, golf. And from here, it's about 115 yards to the pin. Damn. A little wayward on that approach. Too much under it. Setting up for our third shot. That's a nice chip. Well done. Okay. This will save you par. All right. Now let's oh. set our sights. I mean, we that. ain't shooting bad, y'all. We ain't shooting bad, but we do got a lot of catching up to do. You know what I'm saying? We are shooting pretty solid. But goddamn, look at the professor. 30 under. And teeing up 30 the under. Hole. That is crazy. A little too far to the right on Off the that approach, piece. I think. Decent approach there. All right. Yeah, well, that's why I got third. it because the reviews, I don't, you know, I don't hunt. But that call of the wild, the hunter, was pretty good. So I figured the angler, the fishing game, would be good. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. Oh, my God. Just a little three footer left for this one. And nice putt. Let's move on. Just like to play with people who try to actually hunt. And the an the right angler is supposed to be good. After that hole. It's supposed to be good. And, getting and if you right like to fish, you know what I mean? Like me, I like to fish, so. I can relate. Got a couple bogeys, couple birdies though to balance those out. You need to get something going here in this event. Take but that. I am looking forward to the Sherlock Holmes. Need that speed on that. Oh, beautiful shot. Look at you go. On the green. I need the eagle. For eagle I need the eagle, man. I need the eagle to bounce here. back. I need Gets the eagle. I need the eagle. I need the eagle. Ooh. Fuck. This next putt is for your birdie. Ow, man. Every time. 
All right, let's head Yo, to the Brandon, next. thanks for the uh, share. I appreciate that. Okay, after that one, you're sitting right there at 10 under. Let's see James how shot pretty good, though, down. too. He was 15 10. under. That's really good. Come on, kick left. Nice stroke. We're on the green. This one's about 15 feet. Let's keep this going. That's your fourth birdie of the day. Good work out there. And after that, when you're sitting at 11 under. And hole number 18 is in front of us. That swing was to die for. Setting up here about 190 yards or so to the pin. Oh, now look at this. The green. And there's some fantastic golf putting for Eagle. It's almost it's straight in. Eight feet. It's almost straight in. Looking super. Let's go, baby. Well done. Well Let's done. Let's fucking go. Round today with an eagle. And whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to need another look at that one. Ending things off at 13 under. Well done. Last round, y'all. That I say goodbye. Last round. See you again real soon. Last round. Hello there. My name is John. Looking oh. forward to a little bit of golf today. We gotta keep it together. We gotta keep it together. We gotta keep it together. Get ready to tee off at Tarawa Golf Club. Let's do this. It's time to get on our horse. Let's pop that drive into the fairway and be on our way. Nothing wrong with that. And this is looking to be about 155 yards out. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, you no, no, no. Like where this one's no, going. no, no. No, no. Oops, that one went bye-bye. Are you kidding me, man? All right, first cut. Let's do this. Fuck. Well, this one could play. Nice approach. Pin high. That's where we like it. Nine feet to go. Oh, it's getting there. Well done on this one. Oh, man. JD, what up? What up? And Zach, what's up with it? Sarah, guess what? Above par, but guess what, sir? Lots more golf. I'm playing Sherlock Holmes today. after this. That just yet. We've got a par three in front of us on this one. Oh, get down. Looks like we're heading to the sand. What? Damn it. What's unlucky? Missed the green on that approach. <laughs> and from the green side bunker, looking for an up and down here. Oh, there it is. Oh, just filleted that out of the bunker. Very, very. What, what? Yo, Juice, what yeah, up, what let's up? see how these numbers add up now. And after that one, 12 under par. And I don't know how anyone's going to catch our leader here today. Just so far ahead of the rest of the I field. I don't either. 33 it's, under. It's crazy. And it's the There's no round. way you're so catching that. For everybody. There's no way you're catching that. It's a par five for us. Oh, my. That was a vulgar display of power on that game.
And second shot here on the third. I think you've had better swings. I think you need to shut the fuck. And this is your third shot. Uh. Setting up for your fourth stroke here. Gotta chip this one in there. Ooh, nice little chip on that one. Good luck on this one. Par save, possibly. What's up with it, James? Let's see how this next hole is playing. And after that hole, currently 12 under par. And it's going to be interesting in this final round as we see the leader so far out ahead of the rest of the pack. I got to get all I don't this. Know they can be caught. I'm going to be honest. I got to get all this. Come on, man. Okay, second shot here on the fourth. Well done. Needed this birdie. Five foot pot here. Needed it. Good job dropping that one in there for the bird. What's up, Woody Evans? 13 under at the moment. I'm making it some crock pot chicken alfredo tonight. Hope it's good. Oh, that sounds good. Whoop, no, 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 no. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. No. Hmm, a little off on that approach, but that's okay. I'm up here now for our third shot. Every fucking time. Stop. Six feet to go here. Ah, oh, just right by the hole. Oh this my god. Don't, don't even worry about it. I'm starting to lose it, y'all. This all adds up. I'm starting to lose it. 11 under par currently. Sixth hole coming up. <gasps> Quite sure where this will end up. No, stop. No, oh, that one. Yeah. What am I doing, man? Okay, here's our third shot. I done fucked up. I'm not uh, not positive. Could be rough. Could be fairway, though. I done fucked All up. Right, this is your fourth shot. Damn it, man. Oh yeah, that'll do just fine from there. Great work. Okay, and this one to save the hole. Ooh. All right, well done. I'm so glad I saved that right there. Uh, 11 under for the round. And teeing up now on the seventh. I'm so glad I saved that. Good work there. Great shot on the approach. Yeah, this is uh, your look at birdie. Looking good. Needed that. Yes. That's I needed birdie. that, man. Nice job, birdie. Oh, oh. 12 under for the round. Okay, let's see what we can do here on the eighth hole. I got to get all this one. I need all of it. Need all of it.
That was well, close. That was never going to be good. Oh, that was close. Be careful with this one. We're in the deep stuff. Damn, that was close. Having that, 24 feet from the cup. Yeah, come back. All right, time to finish this one off. Next. Oh. Sitting at 12 under for the round. Yo, Chris Rassi with a 1,000 in one days, man. Thank you so much, brother, so for real. For real, for real. Play. It's going to be interesting to see if anyone can uh, contend. Well, let's let this fly here on the ninth. Two shots looking fairway bound. Setting up from 145 yards away. Come on, man. Kind of missed the mark a little bit. This one's your third. And to save par. Well, the putt appears to be online. Oh. That's what you wanted in there for par. 12 under par after that hole. Tenth hole coming up. Sweet. Okay, about 170 yards to the pin. A little bit to the right on the approach here. Come on, kick left. That's a safe shot. Oh, straight Ooh, in for the birdie. The birdie here. Let's go, baby. Straight in for the bird. It could be a good one. Nice putt in there oh. for birdie. And 13 under par is your current score. This could be fun. We've got a par three on this one. Well, it wasn't your best swing. A little wayward on the approach. That's all right, though. Okay, from the greenside sand. Hopefully we get up and down from here. Strike that ball out of that sand trap. Not much left to do here. And that'll do. Damn, man. The tension, the tension, the tension, the pressure. And after that hole, you sit at 13 under par. Teeing it up now on the 12th. Looking pretty good off the tee. Slow down, ball. Come on, man. Oops, that's on me. Thought it was going to be. Uh, thought it was going to be fairway bound. I don't know. This one could go either way. And that approach was a bit wayward. Okay, careful on this one. We're in the rough. Four feet to the cup. This putt's good so far. There's Damn the pressure. I've been trying to fix my supporter badge. Not sure why it isn't showing. 
You are currently uh, 13 under par. I don't know, Jim, do you have any recommendations for that? And let's see what happens here on the 13th hole. Beautiful swing. This is what our third shot's looking like. Oh, that should have been in there, man. This one, that should have been the eagle. Boom. That should have been the eagle. Birdie of the day. Damn. Hey, hey, sitting at 14 under par after that hole. This one's a part four. I get all this because I got to clear that little piece right there. I don't think you're going to like that. I'll take that all day, damn it. We've got about 115 yards. I will take that all day. Okay, you're on the green with a fair amount of work Holy to do still. Holy shit. Here we go, birdie pot. Here we go, par pot coming up. And the putt drops and we're moving on. Yo, Keenan, what up, what up, man? The 14 under is your score. Well, let's see if you can use the tailwind on this hole. Looks like this one has eyes for the green. Well, you're not going to hit every green today. That's all right. Ah! Nice. Man, come Chip. on. Just four feet left on this one. I keep getting robbed, bro. Looking pretty good. Good job, you're in there with a par. 14 under for the round. Let's see what happens here on the 16th. I get all this because I got to get over that piece right there. We need to make something happen soon. Birdies preferable, Eagles exceptional. Let's see what we can do. Good job. Okay, we're around the 230 yard area from here. Okay, third shot. Man, a bird. God, nice Damn it. and that is for birdie number five on the day. Angelique, thanks for the hundred. I appreciate it. Fifteen under for the round. Tyler, what up? What up? Good luck on this par three hole. Heading a bit right. 
Well, missed the green there on that one. And let's get out of this beach here. All right, bit of work left to do here, but we're out of the sand. Oof, great. Here is a bogey pot. Okay, let's head to the next. Ah, sitting at 14 under for the round. Got a headwind to deal with on this hole. Nice swing on that. Come on, man. Here in the rough, but the lies sitting up pretty good here. Nicely done on the green. I need this eagle, man. I need this eagle. I need this eagle. This goes down. That's a 68 for you. Fuck, I need this eagle. Good try on that one. All right, sink this putt. Let's go to the clubhouse. Damn it. Okay, finishing the round with a tap. Uh, 15 under, that ain't bad though. Good job finishing off with the 15 under. Well, on behalf of myself and the team here at Hey, I beat Studios, Sean, Jim, James, and uh, I had fun. Hopefully, you did. And Virgilio, Professor, though, man, 37 under. That is insane. That is insane. Is there one more round? Nah, that's it. You see, I got that second place, though. Yo, Lance, what up, what up? All right, chat, look, real quick. Let me ask y'all this real, real fast. Uh, We are going to play some Sherlock Holmes. Should I start a whole nother stream and keep the golf stream with the golf stream, or should we just change the title and run it? What do y'all want to do? The only bad thing is if I end this stream right now, we're only an hour and a half in. Yo, Lance, what up, what up? What do y'all think? I'm going to let y'all choose. You usually want to stay live for like two hours, though. Just change title and run it. Change title and run it. All right, hold on. Give me one second then. I'm going to need y'all to hit them shares and everything whenever it comes time because since we're just keeping the title, then we might not get no... Uh, might not get no reach. Let's see what the name of the game is. Sherlock Chapter Why didn't it let me change the title? Let me change the game name, but it's not let me change the title. 
I guess that's all right. We'll keep that. All right. Dive off into it then. Need to find a uh, a good spot to put the camera, but we need to see how the game runs first. What's up with it, Bandit? Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Alright, we're going to do a new game. Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. I don't suppose you actually... I just got off ginger? golf. No, but if you, if you look at the title, it's changed. Terrific. It don't should worry, be changed. Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. Yeah, it's I just exciting. got off golf, man. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the weeks-long journey was worth it. Traveling Jack, all this what way, up, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. I tried to That's change the, uh... Your head. Try to forget what he said. I believe it was that I'll this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Oh, at last. I'm... Quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. I don't know why that ain't let me save it. Let me try some real quick. Hey, Sherry, come on, catch up. Yes, yes. All right, see if it let me change it that time, Sean. All right, let's see. Welcome to the game. Use ASWD to move around and press the left mouse button to interact with objects. All right, let's see. Don't see no objects yet. L to skip. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound Just of my change voice. change on my end. All right. Don't get lost in this huge garden. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Lost in what garden? Welcome. 
Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. It's changed on my end. All right. So what does it want me to do? Welcome to the game. Use ASWD to move around and interact with objects. I'm already lost. I'm already confused. I will repeat. Sherlock. Don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. What do you mean I can't go nowhere? What you talking about follow the sound of your voice? Try the gate. I did try the gate. And then when I tried this, he said you got to go to the reception. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Inquire at what reception? If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. I'm open the door, asshole. I must have missed something. They don't let me open the gate. I can't talk to him. I can't talk to her. I can't pick up one of these fruits. Can't sit down. Can't get through this gate. Put a C4 on the gate. How do you get the C4? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? We can't even do nothing? Give me that cigarette. Let me hit that cigarette real quick. Let me hit that cigarette, fool. I went and got this 3G thing called Pink Pony. I don't know what to do here. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. You ain't saying Sherlock, shit. Don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. You ain't said nothing. That's all you keep saying. Say something else. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Follow the sound of my voice. It, did I miss something? I feel like I missed something here, man. Let me hit that cigarette. A Greek tourist. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Well, that didn't do that last so time. Lose, sir, sir. That did not do that last time. How's it going there, buddy? Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? What am I signing? I ain't just gonna be signing some shit. Just sign it. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 oh, prepared for you. Oh, we uh, in room 221. For two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no. I, I think we'll stick together. Very Cat, good. how's the stream Rooms look? Upstairs, sir. Welcome to Jim. Cordilla. How's it look? Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. You just want to look off the balcony is all you want to do. See if you see any other dudes or something. Come Hurry on, up, let's Sherlock. go. Sherlock, I want to see our room. Damn. A balcony with a view. Hold on, I gotta observe this real quick. It says rectum. Oh, gotcha. A 
What's up with it, Chad? What you over here talking about? I hear y'all over here mumbling and grumbling underneath your voice. Let me hit that drink real quick. Appreciate you being on all the time, Red. I find myself just sitting around the house more and more than not lately, so thanks. Yes, sir. I try to do what I can do, you know what I mean? All right, dear James, I read this word on this word and then this word with great interest and although some parts of it still remain unclear for me i must say that you have done an impressive amount of research i strongly recommend you publish as soon as possible for i anticipate a great and wide practical usage of your method as soon as it becomes known sincerely yours professor gilbert well thanks gilbert i appreciate that a letter lost in the hotel That don't look like a regular cigarette the way that you're hitting that. Let me hit that one time. Yo, Cameron, what up, what up? Alright, we gotta find the room. 221. There's 226. Huh? What'd you say? Were y'all ladies talking about me? Because as soon as I walked up, you stopped talking. I feel like y'all were over here talking about me. You got anything on underneath that? Let me examine you real quick. Yep, you ladies are clean. John, what up, what up? Room 225. Excuse me there, sir. Pardon me, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me there. Sir, is this room 222? No? Alright. Must be on the other side. I don't know why they would tell me it was on the left side when indeed it was on the right. 222, 221. There it is. What's going on, man? I need to get I let in the room. Sir, but your room is not yet ready. Perhaps in the meantime, you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight, the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. You mean the foyer? You said the foyer. Yeah. Let me see what they got going on up here in the foyer. Hey Sherry, just our luck. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's Batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Nah, I eat some seafood. I like seafood. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's Batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. What you got going on over here? Monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. I don't give a fuck. Look, when I walk up to you, you talk to me. You, you ask monsieur, me how my day is going and all that good stuff. That's what I, I need a cane like that. I mean, this is the foyer, ain't it? Right here, the gathering area. She's got a bomb on her. <laughs> this is uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes, man. I just want to. I want to solve crimes and murders and mysteries and all that hey, stuff. Hey, Sherry, just our luck. 
Oh, Amazing. look at that. The Sean. incredible loop. <laughs> Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Chat, y'all want the camera on or the camera off? Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me? Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir... It's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. Leave it on, it's just leave it the on. Truth. It ah. either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Now this blonde headed dude right here looks like someone I know that plays Call of Duty. Truth like beauty is in the eye of the beholder so tell me what do you see mediocrity come now sherry what did he do to deserve that the servant mentioned ceviche at the bar sherry you should grab us some and i'll find us a table all right i'll Starry. get us some from the bar hold on what you got okay, over here at the bar man john found us a nice table for the evening a table to spin for the evening. Sherry, I'm over here with my new earth Yeah, sign I know. I'd, I'd already saw you sat down before you sat down. Cordona's even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? A little game, huh? What do you have in mind? Thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well, then, you can deliver it to him as well. Deliver it to him? <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right. Let me take a look. Let me look at this cane. Scoot over real quick. I'm at the assess situation here that we have on the table. The mighty fine cane here. I see he's got these little gems right here. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow, perhaps the Fielding family or meadows, or Craven from the old English name meaning garlic place. The cane is made of ebony, it's worn uncared for, and bears the scars of numerous hits. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. All right. I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence by pressing C to open the casebook. Pin the evidence with X and then speak to someone and try it now with the cane. Alright, good to know. Thank you very much. Press details for more. Certain investigated actions require pinned evidence when profiling people. It will enable you to it will enable you to spot relevant traits. In concentration mode, tracking a certain point of interest appear when you have the relevant evidence pinned. In inquiries with passers-by, Sherlock will only ask about the pinned evidence. You can pin evidence from the case book. This icon indicates that you must pin the evidence to proceed. Press X to pin the evidence. You can also pin the evidence from the HUD. Press up on the arrow pad. Press to pin evidence in the opening the case book. The evidence will be shown from the currently selected case only. Then you can press left arrow or right arrow to scroll through the evidence until you see the one you need. 
Pin the evidence to use the concentration when the icon appears in the hood. Check the casebook to see what evidence might be necessary. Alright. Okay, so we got to pin the evidence with X. So we press. Concentration. All right, let's read this real quick. All of the cases Sherlock accepts are recorded inside the casebook and divided into categories. Press C to open up your casebook. Use the list at the left to select the case and read everything about it. The information there is stored in the form of evidence. Evidence is crucial to your investigation. It contains vital information you need, such as names and addresses. A notification shows when the evidence is updated. Check in the casebook. This mark inside the list shows that the evidence has been updated. An evidence item may have additional icons above it. It's a hint as to what you can do with it. This, well, with this, you can search a location. With this, you can inquire with people around you. With this, you can pin the evidence. Add your own marks to invent, add your own marks to navigate the island more easily. Press to add location related evidence from your casebook to the map, which would be the space bar. The selection of the mark depends on which case is chosen in the casebook, so be sure to select the desired case in the casebook first. You can also add evidence to the map directly from the casebook. For other situations not dependent on case, there's a compass mark. If you press R, then you could add a compass mark. You cannot have more than one compass mark at a time. There's a special icon for investigation scenes. This color affects your current progress. This, well this, this is a scene to be explored. And then that, that's the key evidence collected. This green one right here, well that means all the evidence is collected. You can only see the investigation scene mark, scene landmarks for the case currently selected in your casebook. The icon is removed when the case is completed. Some city landmarks are always shown on the map. Whereas others, well, they have to be discovered. The first type includes the governmental offices, markets, and bridges, for example. This right here, this is a city hall. And this right here is the market. This, well, this is a bridge. Place is important for your investigation. Fast travel points, traders, and attractions appear on the map when Sherlock approaches them. Clothing trader. Cordona Abbey. Old ruins. Any case and compass marks you add in fast travel points will be displayed on the HUD's compass. All of these marks can be seen on the compass when you are in close proximity. But the evidence in the compass marks can be seen from any distance. The bar underneath the compass also changes color when Sherlock approaches one of the important points. Fast travel. After discovering a fast travel point, you could teleport to that location from the map. You cannot fast travel out of buildings or a certain story important moments. Also, you can interact with rickshaws around the city to open the map and fast travel. Appears when something interesting is at the location such as a new quest. Okay. We already read that. That's pinned evidence. You pin evidence. Okay, so X to pin evidence. And then up arrow opens the casebook. Concentration allows Sherlock to see the unseen. You use Q to press to activate the concentration. A scribble white circle indicates a point of interest and hence that you should concentrate on this right here and nothing else. When you're using concentration, wait for Sherlock to notice the details about the object or even, de even deduce what may now be missing. In the casebook, this icon on a piece of evidence indicates that you need concentration. Concentration is often paired with the pen evidence equipment. If you see this right here, there's such an icon beside a concentration icon in the casebook. Concentration lets you profile other people around you. Apart from personal information that can help you identify the person you're looking for, their attitude towards you shows if they might be willing to help you or not. Concentration also enables tracking. After a pen relevant evidence to the screen, use concentration to follow the tracks 
while staying within the tracking region. Combat. During combat, try to arrest your opponent rather than kill them. To arrest an enemy, first stun them by using their weak points, their environments, or their snuff box. Angelique, where's your snuff box at, girl? Alright, anyhow, a stun opponent is marked with a timer above their head. The timer looks like this. Close in, close in, engage, in, in and arrest sequence. Follow the on-screen pumps to arrest the enemy before the time is up. Each arrest is rewarded by coin and John's approval. John is against killing, so he won't be happy if you kill anyone. When aiming combat automatically goes into a slow motion, its duration is limited. Recharging after use is automatic. Slow motion mode highlights useful objects and enemies and weak points. Enemies in the helmets cannot be stunned. A helmet can only be shot off after every other piece of armor is removed. After the helmet is gone, you can stun the enemy with any of the regular instruments. You can restore health by arresting enemies. Additionally, if low Sherlock's health will restore slightly after several clear seconds of receiving no further damage. Arrest will also recharge your snuff box faster, so you can stun and arrest further enemies more quickly. If you hold down escape, this will skip the entire combat sequence. However, you will sacrifice all potential rewards. Combat can only be skipped at the time of the beginning of the cutscene runs. Visit the settings menu to customize combat difficulty. You want to try to find? <laughs> what up? What up, John? Uh, bandit layers are replayable combat arenas you can find in the city. There is one bandit lair hidden in each district. This icon on the map indicates a bandit lair. Layers are usually feature more enemies and harder combinations than there are in the story. Surviving the lair rewards you with money depending on your combat performance. This symbol right here, resting all enemies in each layer unlocks specific challenges. The challenges are not, the challenges are to complicate combat. They can affect health replenishment remove convenient objects etc unlock the activates as many challenges as you can handle to earn one of the five ranks each successive rank grants a bigger coin reward multiplier you can spend your hard-fought money to buy unique costumes from the traders in the city you cannot skip the combat inside the bandit layers but you can choose to not engage with them at all Meet John, Sherlock's best friend. Listen to what John says, he can be very helpful. At times, John will challenge you with special objectives. These tasks are indicated with a unique icon in a casebook. You can fail this challenge depending on your actions or interaction or your inaction, which will make John sad. John has his own personality, so his own, op so his own opinions that may disagree with or support the choices you make as Sherlock. This one right here. These icons indicate that John's reaction to your behavior. You can read what John thought of your actions in this diary. John keeps a per personal diary with multiple selections inside it. He chronicles Sherlock's adventures. The notes are John's personal diary where he expresses his thoughts and attitudes towards Sherlock's actions. In the Corridona section, you can find all of the interesting documents from the cases, historical facts about Cardona, and more. The Consequences tab is filled with the newspapers that are available to purchase after finishing certain cases. So be sure to check with the newspaper traders after you finish a case. Perhaps they'll have a new story for you to add to your collection. In Heritage, you will find stored all the information relating to Sherlock's family memories and special items. You can find these as you play through the cases. Most of them can be found during the My Story cases. The last section is the collectibles where the descriptions of the collectible items are stored. You can dress John up for an occasion. His wardrobe can be found beside Sherlock's with this icon. The archives. Find documents connected to the case in the archives. Police City Hall and the Cordona Chronicle office offer their own archives for you to use. 
This icon right here is evidence what the icon can be used in the archives. Before using the archive, you must please select the case you want to work with in your casebook. In the archives interface, choose the mark evidence to be shown. A and D. Use the select use use A and D to select the correct evidence. Evidence to be used in the archives will contain information to help you choose the categories. Select three criteria from the available categories to perform the search. You can only choose a certain that you can only choose one criteria from each category. The categories you've chosen will be shown at the bottom. Press H in the archives interface to receive a hint. Are y'all getting all this? Cause y'all y'all are gonna have to help me now. I can't remember all this shit. And then also too, we need to find out: Are we gonna make are we gonna make a challenge within ourselves? To try to arrest people without killing them or are we going to kill them will there be a consequence for killing somebody that we're trying to arrest whether it be give away a keychain give away a t-shirt or, or something like that you know what i'm saying um like i want y'all to play this with me i want y'all to interact with me chemical analysis can reveal the nature of some clues chemical analysis can be accessed via casebook the icon marks of the evidence requiring chemical analysis. In this casebook interface, select the evidence marked with the icon. Press E to start your chemical analysis. You will enter a analysis interface. All actions performed within this field. Your goal is to replace the formula shown on the right. Mix and transform reagents through operations to, re to reach the result. The operations can be found at the top of the screen and the reagents are stored at the bottom. The amount of the both is limited and is written at the upper right hand corner of the element. This one right here, these are these are reagents and these right here, these are operations. Drag out two reagents and one one operation. Link them following the hints on the screen. However, not all types of operations require two reagents to work. Press spacebar to confirm your combination. The difficulty of the analysis will increase as the game progresses, adding new operations and complications. Here are the possible types of operations. We got all that memorized. Hey, you should. All right, so this icon right here, addition, always requires two agents. So if you see this icon, it requires two agents. This right here swaps reagent and the value to the opposite. This one right here is a crimmant adds one to the reagent's value. This one is decrement and it subtracts one from the reagent's value. This right here multiplies reagent's value by two and then this one right here divides reagents by the value of two. Press in the press H in the chemical analysis interface to receive a hint. It's supposed to be good, Jason. It's supposed to be like, you know, like crime scene investigative stuff. You got to ask questions. You got to take notes. But that's what I'm saying, right? Like, do do we want to set like a goal on the game and try to say, you know, we're not going to kill anybody. We're just going to arrest them. Or are we going to take them down at all costs and all that stuff? All right. The dialogue. Sherlock has special tricks to make anybody talk. Sherlock will often talk to victims and interrogate suspects. This icon right here above the evidence means that you can talk to someone about the case. In dialogues, the options you select can lead to many interesting outcomes. But mind that while strings are optional and yellow ones will push the dialogue forward, Sherlock can compose a character's portrait or this shows ob observe in dialogue when available. Focus turns yellow if there is an interesting detail. The bar above indicates how many details remain to compose a portrait. After you have observed the character, you can choose between two interpretations of their profile. Press space to hold to confirm your vision. The portrait will be added to the casebook as evidence. Mind that your choice may affect further interactions with that character. Sometimes you could ask characters about a certain piece of evidence and obtain more information. For this chose provide evidence and dialogue when available. You will enter the special interface with a list of all evidence you have collected for the case. Press spacebar to ask person about their currently highlighted evidence. If the enter 
interlocutor knows something about it, the dialogue will proceed. After this, a new evidence will be added to the casebook or an existing one will be updated. Sometimes suspects are not ready to crack and will lead and will need more convincing before they confess. In such cases, you will see an accuse option. Note that once selected, you might not be able to back out. In some cases, the accuse option opens up a special interface where you have to select the correct evidence for each of the accusation categories. Follow the dialogue clues to select the correct evidence for each of the main accusation categories. This means crime, the motive, and the opportunity. For each category, Sherlock will point to the evidence and the suspect will react to either positive or negative. <laughs> you can only win interactive accusations if all three evidence items were selected correctly. Winning or failing the accusations leads to different outcomes of the case. So the story could actually change depending on how you take the case and how you how you do with the evidence and all that stuff. Disguise is Sherlock's ways to blend in society. Sometimes you must wear a disguise to proceed with an investigation. And this icon in the casebook means that you have a disguise to yourself. Mark evidence items are available for quick access in the wardrobe interface. Read the text to figure out what Sherlock must wear. Sometimes you will need to disguise yourself as a specific person. Another situation is when access somewhere is blocked by someone. Listen to them and get hints on what to wear. Also, a disguise may help you with inquiries when a bystander isn't friendly. Press Q to enter the concentration to see their social class and their dis disposition towards you. Hide somewhere and dress to fit their social class. Not all places are suitable for changing. Then you can check if their, de if their disposition changes to positive. Now you can start the conversation, conversation again. Classic icons in the wardrobe interface indicate how your, how your attire will be perceived. You have upper class, cordona local, policeman, sailor soldier, worker, hobo, or a criminal. Or you could dress like king. Every item in the disguise affects these strats. Be sure to see if it increases or decreases your chance of passing or a specific social class. The color indicator if the attitude is positive or negative. It'll be green for positive, red for negative. Aim to achieve more than 50% in a social class to, guarantee, to guarantee others will accept you. You might need to use more than one item of clothing to achieve that. Press H in the wardrobe interface to receive a hint. You gotta open that guy's eyes and put caps on them and then close them. Yeah, that's the, yeah you do have to do that. All right, eavesdropping on people's conversation and listening to what they're saying without you knowing. This right here is called eavesdropping. Sometimes you will notice the conversations are marked with the little ear icon. That means yeah, that you get ear. <laughs> gotta stop you. I gotta what? stop. What? You don't even know what I'm talking about, dude. You? Yeah, you're talking about uh mortuary. No, go back to that guy though. You gotta go back to the disguise. I think. It I want you to see this. I don't think he saw it. What? No, uh, to dialogues. I'm bad. Yeah, click on dialogue. <laughs> you got to slide that slider up. <laughs> like mortuary assistant, you got to slide that thing up right there. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, the conversations right, are continue. gossip and can be overheard, but don't get too close to the gossipers as they will notice that Sherlock is stop talk. They will notice Sherlock and stop talking. If that happens, move to a more discreet distance and the conversation will resume. If you hold down the left click when focusing on the ear icon to start eavesdropping, this starts a mini game and select the words relevant to the hint and the comment you hear while this discarding the irrelevant words to help you fighting out what words are relevant a hint will appear as you start eavesdropping read it to understand what information to look for press the spacebar to start the mini game this will also start a timer 
The perimeter's decisions make in time and in difficulty settings adjust the time. Keywords will appear on screen except the relevant ones while discarding those that aren't relevant. Use W and S. Use, yep, use up and down to discard. Okay. The right choice will be circled and the wrongs will be crossed. Each wrong circle shortens the time you have left. Once you've selected all relevant words, the eavesdropping will be successful. As a reward, you will receive a new evidence item or a update in the existing one. If you discard any of the correct words or run out of time, the eavesdropping will fail. Memories are correct words on each attempt in order to win. If you fail, look, just wait. Wait one second for people to restart the gossip again. The investigation. Sherlock reenacts events to pass with the legitimate the imagination. This Saphir on the scene indicates that the imagination is ready to play. Click on it. Inside the imagination, you can control John while recreating the events inside the imagination. Smaller spheres will appear near important parts of the location. Interact with them to switch between several interpretations of the scene. Some figurines or objects are anchored to help you. The figurines you are currently working with are outlined. Browse through the figurines using the one, th using the on-screen hints until you think the interpretation is correct. Spacebar appears when all the points are activated. Hold it to check if you are, your inter to hold it to check if your interpretations are correct. If the picture wasn't correct, John will comment on it, and you will be able to try again without exiting the imagination. While within an imagination, you can still read the casebook evidence often contains helpful hints. Imagination is finished. Sherlock will summarize what he has learned and then new information will be added to your casebook. I hope y'all are getting this. King, you getting all this? Cause you got to help me solve these cases. You're going to be John. All right. You're John. So you're the one yeah, that's I always mad at me. Down. You're, you're, you know what I mean? You're chewing me out. You're telling me to be better and all that stuff. Sherlock has various instruments to investigate a scene. Investigate instruments help to inspect and analyze different objects. After some actions, you might obtain new evidence or an update to an existing one. This icon right here with a little dot in it or this icon interact. This icon marks the interactive point on the scene. Press Z to highlight the interactive areas within the environment around you. However, this ability is recharge the timer, which can be adjusted in the difficulty settings. The time is shown on the bar at the top of the screen. You will see a compass above this bar when it when in the outdoor areas. Sometimes Sherlock will need to take a closer look at the area. See how many points there are to find at the top of the screen. Okay. Hold down the left click when the focus is yellow to examine the clue. Some objects have to be rotated and inspected them thoroughly. Rotate the object to find interesting spots that you might want to interact with. The used spot will gray out. While you can always manually exit the rotation, the action will not count until all points are found. When all points are found, the rotation will end automatically. Sometimes you will need to take a photograph. This icon right here means that above the evidence in the casebook indicates that you use your camera and it is required. Also, on the scene, you will see this icon. Press E to hold and focus on the piece you need to take a photograph of. Then you press the left click when the frame turns white and it will also go in your casebook. I am thirsty. I need something to drink. I'm about to go get some water after we finish reading uh, Traders. Mine plays some. Mine Palace is a place to think and get answers. Investigate of my story cases will review clues for the Mine Place. Mine Palace. This icon on the hood identifies you when there are things to do in the Mine Palace. Press C to get to the case book and then investigate to the Mine Palace. In the Mine Palace tab, click on the relevant case to select it. You will enter the clues interface. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I could use a drink. Hey, uh, hold on. Can you uh, start over? Because I'm not. I'm not going to be ready for the quiz. Just rewind it. You can. You can rewind the live. You're doing great. Good job. You got it. Fantastic. 
Any selected clue will have an expanded description at the bottom of the screen. Click on the clue to select it and try to combine it with another to make a deduction. Some of the deductions lead to obtaining new evidence which can be added to the case book. You will see notifications on the right side of the Mind, Place, Mind Palace screen when this happens. The other deductions appear on the different screen where you can make conclusions about the case. Press Y to toggle between the clues and the deduction scene. Uh, this mark right here, such as deductions, has several interpretations. Select one that you think is correct. Deductions are connected to another. Some interpretations may con contradict another. Try selecting the other option to resolve this. When there are no conflicts and enough deductions, they will link and form a version of the event. At the end, there will be a conclusion where you can select how Sherlock should resolve the case. While Sherlock must while Sherlock must form a conclusion before acting, he doesn't have to make the same choice he made in the Mind Palace. You can see all the actions before finalizing the case and acting as you see fit. Press H in the Mind Palace interface to receive a hint. Well, at least they give you hints because there is definitely a lot of fucking shit. So the fact that you could press, press H when you want a hint, that's kind of, you know, I, I, hey, that's a really good thing. Traders all over Cardona offer various goods. During his adventures, Sherlock can, can this word, the currency used in Cardona, you will receive money for solving cases and arrested criminals in combat. This icon right here with an M on it with two lines through it, this icon HUD notifies that you'll receive more this word. You can check your current total amount in the casebook. There are t three types of traders. There's a clothing trader, a newspaper trader, and a furniture trader. You can find them all over the city. This icon right here, this means that the traders may also be found in the markets. Visiting the clothing traders is often necessary for solving cases. Most of the needed disguise pieces can be found at their stores. Clothing traders also offer free rental options so you can visit them even if you don't have the money to spend. Pieces marked with this sign right here can be rented. Only one item per category can be rented at one time. Newspaper traders are rarely staying markets. Find them all around the city. Buy newspapers to learn the outcomes of your cases. You can read the newspapers in John's diary. All you have to do is ask King for his diary. He'll pull it out of his back pocket and he'll be glad to give it to you. At furniture traders, you could ask King if you could borrow a piece of furniture, whether you want a chair, a couch, or a bed to lay on. This won't be available until you locate the manor. This sign indicates that the furniture trader has something new to offer. Pieces you buy from King will automatically be delivered to the manor. After you fully renovated a part of the manor, be sure to revisit it. Perhaps Sherlock will remember something about his past in Cordona. All right, and that's that. So it's pretty much, uh, let's break it down a little bit so basically for those of y'all that don't know man if you never watch sherlock or anything like that he has the ability to go in people's imagination if they commit a crime he can actually look at the crime scene and put the whole crime scene together and basically portray his own story of the crime and then he's able to track down whoever did the crime and one thing about sherlock holmes is he was pretty much always right every time he went to a scene and put it together and all that stuff so everything that i just read that was just telling you that we have the ability to walk up to a person look at them talk to them see it to be able to tell if they're lying to be able to tell if they have left like a piece of fabric at the crime scene and be able to look at their shirt and be able to see if that's the fabric that came from the shirt and all that stuff I know a lot of people probably ain't going to be interested in this and you're probably going to be like, oh, this is boring, this is stupid, this, this, and that. But for the people that do like like crime scene type stuff and solving murders and like the mysteries and all that shit, I think that the game is going to be really, really cool. Now, with that being said, I'm going to take a little one minute break real fast. I'm going to get me a bottle of water because my throat's dry as fuck. I can feel the cotton mouth coming up. So give me one, one second. I'll be right back. Do me a favor, go ahead and hit those reactions for me, and then we'll go ahead and continue. Stand by with a standby. I'll be right back.
ആഴമ്പ anybody have any questions are you already dive into this king listen are you there yeah i'm here all I'm right. ready. you are john you're john yeah. all right all right you're, you're basically you know my little helper if i miss something right, you kind of well, set me straight C to open the case book yeah and you can pin the evidence with the x okay and then speak to someone Okay, so, now with the king. okay, so we're going to open up the case book and then yeah. do what? Press C. I did. This is what popped up. Oh, so there's your case book. This is a case book. There are many of yeah. them like this, but this one is mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me read this because this is the lost king. This is what oh, we're yeah, doing. This is wild. An ebony wood with a bulb of garlic interesting all right so the cane is made of ebony wood with oddly detailed carvings of a bulb of garlic most likely the coat of arms the hand grip is made with a gold javanese statue in the wayang style you cannot defeat my wayang style likely stolen from a temple together the cane and the knob are so heavy that it swung ferocity it could break any bone. Indeed, the cudgel Ooh. bears the d the sign of numerous such hits, showing the owner took little care of it. In some, See? this valuable cane most likely belongs to an English noble. So we're going to be looking for an English noble. So, King, can you tell us what an English noble looks like? Uh, Basically a peasant. But my question is the, the clove of garlic. Right. I mean, are we going to be going after vampires here or? Well, I would think that it definitely like isn't. The smell of garlic? I would I think mean, that he definitely isn't a vampire because vampires don't like garlic. So anybody that we see that looks like a vampire or has vampire characteristics, I really don't think that that could be our killer. Should we try to poke him with the cane? I mean, we could, or we could be looking for somebody that's Italian. You know what I mean? Italians love garlic. So it might be someone that, you know, looks a little bit of an Italian descent or something like that. I don't know. Uh, apparently that's got to be some type of clue, though. It might even be, you know, it could come from a restaurant. Anyhow, on with what we were reading. Okay. John King wants me to find its owner. To do so, I shall have to acquire... I shall have to inquire with others guests in the foyer as to whom may have been sitting at this table. All right. So what, what, what do we do next? We got to pin it, right? Uh, yeah. So we're going to press X to pin the evidence. The evidence has now been pinned. All right. Okay. All right. Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press C to open the case book and then the evidence with X. Then speak with somebody. I mean, this might even be this dude's cane right here. Hey, is this your cane, man? May I ask for your assistance? That's a question I can answer. Alright, there were three people at the table, a couple. And a retired Navy officer observes weren't sure what happened to the couple but the navy officer was seen going out of the front garden for some air i have to find him well even with your keen senses sherry i doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it my friend why not let's see how good you really are oh he's betting that must be King right there. He's trying to bet on the... I mean, that must be uh, Los right there. He's he's willing to bet on the fact if we buy the cane or not. All right. This cane is the accessory of a British nobleman. I can ask other guests about who may have been previously sitting here. To find the cane's owner, I have to locate the former Navy officer who went out into the front garden. All right. So what? We need to go out to the front garden and look for a Navy officer? Is that right? Now wait. Now wait. wait a second. Wait one second. All Hold right. on. I'm an observant feller. Yeah. In 
the description of the cane. Didn't it talk about an English noble? It did. It did. But he so, said British, so he How is, did we go from an English noble to a British noble? I don't know. I feel like he's trying to flip the script. You know what I mean? Like that right there is is one of those like I'm gonna try to flip the script because I know that they're looking for an English man. Let me go ahead and switch it to a yeah. British man. But it does say that we need to locate the former Navy officer who went out into the garden. So do we just need to look around? We know it can't be one of these. Hey, there ain't none of these. You need to dude. move your camera. Move the camera. Move your camera down to the bottom right. Right here. There you go. Now they can read the stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we know this ain't no Navy officer over here. Maybe I shouldn't say that because that's being people. We can't be people in this day and age. Let me see. So we're looking for a Navy officer. What does a Navy officer look like? He Is was he... outside. Oh, you did I see him? I thought he was supposed to be out front. Yes. Yeah, it, it says to find the Canes owner, I have to locate the former Navy officer who went out into the front gate. Uh-huh. You see a Navy officer? Because uh, I don't. But then again, I don't know what they look like back then. Maybe over on the left? Maybe. Let's oh, go check. Oh, that's the guard. Don't forget, we can listen to people's conversation and shit, remember? Yeah. <sighs> a Swedish clerk. Retired military officer. There he is, right there. Are you able to help me? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. The Navy officer, Mr. Rhodes, was sitting at our table with the noble couple. The men talked about yachting, and the lady was fidgeting with the cane. Perhaps she put it aside, and her husband forgot to take it with her when they went to meet the medium. Now I have a perfect excuse to enter the scene's room. So where are we going now? We just found Red's clues. We, we just, just found, found Red's, Red's clues. clues. We just found Red's clues. Let's try another clue. Okay, so the men talk about yachting and the lady was fidgeting with the cane. Perhaps she put it aside and her husband forgot to take it. When they went to the meet, the medium. What's the medium? Hey, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? I mean, we I'm do. I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. All right, so we need. What, what's the medium? King, what's the medium? I didn't see the owner, Sherry, so I can't help you find him. Oh, we, we need to give the cane back to its owner. Yeah, I know, but where would the medium be in, in this thing? Well, we need to go to the sinks room. The sinks? What's the sinks room? Uh, I don't know. You're supposed to know these things, damn it. Say, say, onsen. Well, a scene's room sounds like where the scene's at. So it looks like it's happening in an air. So let's go check in there. Okay. Chat, y'all got to play this with me now. Y'all need to chime in. So it happened right here. This is where we picked up the cane right here. So let me observe everything over here. Let me pull out my case book real quick. The Navy officer, Mr. Rose, was sitting at our table with the noble couple. The men talked about yachting, and the lady was fidgeting with the cane. Perhaps she put it aside, her, and her husband forgot to take it when they went to meet the medium. What? What's the medium? Medium is one who sees spirits 
and someone the medium is like the damn fortune teller yeah okay so are we looking for the medium help me please i tell you if i knew but unfortunately i don't you don't know shit oh this this is the medium ain't it incredible luca the friend of the yeah. spirit only luca. today it's luca, luca what are you hold doing on wait here? what the fuck she found us holy shit luca has found us all right so we need to find out where this is taking place at how do you look at a map where do we find luca at she would be in the theater or something where's the theater at oh here it is look let me see all right there's a crystal ball This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. Oh, he's putting it together. First my cane, now the A blood drop. Take your hands off me. Do you even know who I am? Hey, boy. That's my cane. I get that a lot. It's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made. A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered troopenny these days. What a gentleman. Wait, but I must ask, how did you know the clover I was the garlic. rightful owner? I didn't see the clover either. Hold on, we gotta observe. He's got some... What's that that he's got right there on his nose? A Swedish reddish skin. Rich, fashionable tie. Doesn't wear a wedding ring. I don't think this is him. Because didn't they say that they were married? Hold on, let me turn around. Gotta examine this guy real quick. Hold the inspect. I'm missing something. We're missing something, King. Oh, he got the lumps and bumps. Recently hit someone with force. He just hit that dude. A head of garlic doesn't wear a wedding ring. Red face, swollen reddish skin. Expensive in new clothes. Rich and fashionable. Slightly red knuckles. Recently hit someone with force. Judging by the hurt, this word emblem on his signet ring and a cane, I can be fairly certain that this man is Lord Craven, a noble Englishman in the habit of visiting resorts to receive treatment for his liver. His floor face indicates that he has come to the temptation to drink a few shots of alcohol. Perhaps he was unsettled by the scene. His red knuckles, I presume that... What do you think, King? By his knuckles red, I presume that he takes boxing lessons to strengthen his physical condition. Already annoyed by the disappearance of his cane, he is now infuriated, infuriated by, the, by the theft of a diamond. So he got his ring stolen, you think? What do you think? An ill Englishman on resort or a bored British nobleman? Well, it did say the cane belonged to a British noble. It did. But we don't know if this is the cane holder. He could be lying because he don't have a wedding ring. So do we think it got stole? Like, do we think that this is the British nobleman or is this an ill English man on a resort? That's what we're trying to find out. 
He doesn't look British. Yeah, you're right. He does kind of look like English because if you were to put like blonde hair on him, he'd look and take off that mustache. He would look like that dude that plays Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm going to say English, man. Yeah. Did we get it right or what? Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything. I was after a British noble who takes boxing lessons but suffers from some liver issues. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Well, you're half correct. I am indeed Lord Andrew Craven. Your other guesses were wrong, but you still have the edge over that blasted medium. Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr. Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief always We were wrong on one of them, King. Punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result he was in an English man. He's questionable a British veracity. Man. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. What happened at the scene? You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. I we bet the girl here in stole the dark, it. Chanting and holding hands the medium. Expected. Then something the medium began to stole appear it. from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. Hmm. Tell me about the diamond. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told me. It was Mr. Mr. Mustard, mustard in the dining hall with so a candlestick in my Indian head. Indian royalty and pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. All right, let's go take a look at the case file. The seance thievery at the scene. The center of the seance room has a table for conducting seances. All right. We can't pin it yet because we don't have no evidence, but we can look at this right here. Let me check this out. You look at this. All right, concentration helps you pick smaller details about the word ar world around you. When you see a scribbled white circle, press Q to observe the object. The diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? The ghost was here, Sherry. There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. Yeah, the city's up. Should be. It is. There's a... Uh... Something's jacked up with 5M, so you gotta do the F8 connect. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. Yeah, you always you just connect with the uh, connect. Connect with the connector. 
What am I missing here? Oh, they smoke. Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? <laughs> Alright, so now we got... Now we got evidence, so we should be able to go to the casebook. Alright, let's read this. <clears throat> Listen up, class. There is a holder where the diamond was kept. A cigar butt and whiskey glass. We're on, we're on the table at the place of the nearest, the main door. Opposite to the window, a glass of wine had been partially spilled. Hmm. Hmm. We do have some evidence. From the window to the wall. Well, we don't really have evidence. We don't have no evidence yet. But we can read about what Luca has been up to ever since we, uh, last time we saw Luca was in a, where did we see her last? In a church? It was a church, right? But she's back. The medium Luca was hired by the Cravens to summon the spirits of the former owners of the diamond, who as they believe were of Indian royalty. During the seance, a spirit appeared and frightened the lady to the extent that she fainted. The stone's disappearance, Lord Craven believes that it is du duplicate. <laughs> say that word? Duplicitous robbery. Say it like them, King. I want you to say it like the, the British nobleman. Duplicitous robbery. He was demanded that the medium be oh. locked up to prevent Lord his- Lord Craven believes that it was a duplicitous robbery. <laughs> <laughs> he has demanded that the medium be locked up to prevent his escape. I'm impressed, Lord Craven, with my deduction skills, and he believes I can find the diamond. Alright. So, the only thing that we were wrong on this is- we say he was an English man and he was British. All right, let me, uh, let me sit right here real quick. I didn't miss anything. I'm five out of five. Let me Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. I am trying. I'm trying, King, all right? Ma'am, are you all right? Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious feebleness of women really sherry poor thing a british aristocrat sympathetic barely conscious it looks like she does have a mark around her ankle though maybe perhaps someone pulled her panties off and it rubbed right there on her ankle maybe she wears lace can't be silk it wouldn't leave a, a mark like that I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Sir. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord So he's Craven, the medium. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Any spirits here now, or we'll find out who did it. Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entity? Lime, what up, what up? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken. This maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? But you That's got his ring, bro. What the fuck? If you stole my ring, I'd break your nose, too. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him, please. Ah, seems mm. like you're ready to delve into your mind, Palace Sherry. I'm uh -oh. sure you'll make some good deductions. Uh oh, we get to go to the Mind Palace. Where do we go for the Mind Palace again? Do you remember? Let me open up my case book. Mind Palace. The ghost of the past, a mother's love. Lady Craven faced with the widow. 
Lady Craven faced with the widow. During this seance, the Lady Craven's palace, the Lady Craven's place at the table was opposite at the window to the courtyard. The moth pen. Luca owns a pen in the shape of a moth. The lady pointed across the table. The lady Craven pointed across the seance table at something and screamed. Which one? Which one, chat? See, this is one of them games where you gotta pay attention because the guy that we talked to in. Huh? She Cro pointed across the table and screamed. But she did do that. So we don't deduct that, do we? She did oh, point no. across the table to scream. And then she fainted, remember? So we wouldn't deduct that. We would leave that. Yes or no? Now, don't forget, we could ask for help. Yeah. But, but I yeah. want to kind of, you know what I mean? Like, I really don't want to use help. Does anybody in the chat want to step up? We know we know that Lord Craven punched a medium, so we're not going to take that away, right? We know that that's a fact. We know that she pointed across the table. Right. The moth pen. Now we don't. We don't know if Luca owns the moth pen. The moth pen is just sitting there, though. Like it hasn't been stated if he owns a moth pen, if he's missing a moth pen, or anything like that. I mean, we could always look at the case file and read back through it. The center of the seance room has a table for conducting seances. There is a holder where the diamond was kept. A cigar butt and a whiskey glass were on the table at the, at the place nearest to the main door. Opposite the window, a glass of wine has been partially spilled. Lady Cravens is barely conscious but appears to be unhurt. After she's taken to the short rest, I should be able to talk to her after she takes short short rest. Yeah, the item hasn't been proven, I don't think. I would say the pin. Sarah, help! Sarah, did you know that we're, we're, we're dealing with Luca? Luca is back. Alright. We have finally located Luca. You see it says right there, Luca owns a pen in the shape of a moth. Should we do help on this one? Just so we get how it's done? Chat, I'm asking for y'all's help. I'm asking for y'all's help. Like, to me, these are all facts. So, I, I feel like the one that gets taken away needs to be the one that we don't know yet. We know that we know that Crab and Punch the medium because we right. just determined that the, the person's nose that's leaking is indeed the medium. We know that the lady pointed across the table. Now, as far as how Lord Craven faced, that part we don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how they were sitting. But if I were to guess, I would say that the medium was sitting here because that's his jacket. So he hung up his jacket right here. So that could be the medium's pen. Hold on, let me see. Something. I didn't take the diamond, I swear. Can I investigate him real quick? Help to understand that way you know next time. Alright, we'll help this time. But I think that's what it's wanting you to do is remove the, the one that's not a fact. But we'll go ahead and help this time. 
Alright, Mime Palace. Examine your clues to get the answers. Choose your current case, which uh, we did do that. Combine it with the relevant one. Get new evidence in the case book and then make a deduction. Make a new deduction. Some deductions have been different interpretations leading to other case outcomes. Choose interpretations that you believe and then resolve any logical conflicts. Deduction links to form one version of events, resulting in a suspect to condemn or pardon. The Mind Palace is a place to think any decisions can still be changed by your actions. So we could actually change the outcome if we get it right. I'm just gonna go with the moth pen if we're all in agreements. King, help! God damn it, you're supposed to be John. You're supposed to give me guidance. The moth pen. The moth pen it I is. I like it. Moth pen. Right. Moth pen. Combine clues to make deductions. Alright. You found enough clues to make a deduction. Open the case with the case book, then navigate to the mind palace inside and pair the clues you've gathered to make deductions. I deducted. All right, I deducted. Her skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. So what now? I made the deduction. What are we doing now? Ooh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. It still says to go to the mind palace, so we must not have did it right. Confused now. Was it not the moth pen? Well, if you're trusting King to guide you, well, he's John, right? Like, you know, Sherlock had a helper. His helper was John, my helper. I'm I'm Red Shot, <laughs> Redlock, <laughs> and uh, King is John. I don't understand why he keeps on forcing me to the mind palace, so I'm confused here. It ain't nobody helping me. Everyone's quiet. When he discovered that the diamond had been stolen, Lord Craven punched the medium in the face. That's right. Let me see what this does if I take this away. I don't understand. Oh, okay, you gotta lock in your answer. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see now. Combine clue. Alright, let's see. So we're gonna take this one away. says to combine the clues all right so let's go boom boom okay there we go lady Craven was pointing at a window i'm sure she saw someone in the courtyard during this scene all right so let's go to the courtyard and see if that's true okay i see what you're saying so you have to combine them so like if i combine that and that see Told you we haven't determined if Luca owns a pen or not. It seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Good job, oh, Sarah. I hope it was the See, ghost of the Roger. I know what it is. King's over there buying the game and he's playing it too at the same time. I know how King operates. Alright, so we gotta go to the courtyard. Where are you at in the game, King? The courtyard would be where, John? I mean, King. Would your name be King John or just John? That's what I'm trying to find out. 
Alright. Let's see if we can go back here. Can't open that. I don't have keys to that. Yo, Edward, what up, what up? Alright, so we're gonna follow. You see how that little yellow thing pops up up top? We're gonna follow that and see if we can go over there. I can't open that. I don't have keys for that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that here. I can't do that here. I must need a key. Alright, we gotta find out how to get to the courtyard. Staff only. So I need to disguise myself as staff? He's gonna be like, what are you doing in there? I'm facing getting in trouble for being back here. I guarantee you they're gonna be like, you can't be back here. All right, courtyard. Aha, you saw something, didn't you? So now what we need to do is we need to pin the evidence. No, we need this. We need to unpin that. We need to pin this. May I ask you something? I can't help you with that, sir. You're lying. Now I know that you were right here. I can see you're still standing here. You've been smoking that same cigarette. Let me look at you real quick. A Swedish singer who's friendly and he's a snitch. Man, now you know you could help me. You're already a snitch. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. I know that you're a snitch. Could you help me? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Oh, I am bored. Oh, new Where entry in King's us? Diary. Let's see what King's talking about. I read your treatise by normal thorum with a great interest and although some parts of it still remain unclear for me I must say that you have done an impressive amount of research. I strongly recommend you publish as soon as possible for I anticipate a great wide pra practical usage of your method as soon as it's known. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe if I dress up as a cop, he'll talk to me or no. King, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean? You're supposed to be helping me. Oh, I'm watching. You're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. John wants me to visit the medium. We must... Yeah, I already did that. I talked to him. The reception is what me. Yep. Okay. So there's got to be a way that I swindle him. Because it says someone was in the courtyard, but he's the only person in the courtyard. So there's got to be a way that you swindle that guy right there to talk. Let me look at this evidence right here. There seems to be something here. I wonder what it is. It looks like a rock. Oh, it's a piece of a this boot. Recent. Oh, a it's shoe a shoe. With a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? No. Nope. I'm reserving judgment. We Use your found red clues. We just found red clues. We just found red clues. I wonder who that lady is up there. All right, to track someone's movements, you must first pin the relevant evidence to the scene, to the screen, and then enter concentration mode with Q. All right, so let's go, hold on. Let's get out of that. We gotta go here. Where's the evidence at? 
where's the uh thing that I just got? To track someone's movements, you must first pin the relevant evidence to the screen concentration mode. So does it automatically pin, I'm guessing? Ah, okay, okay. Here we go. We're on to something here. Aha. Someone broke in here and then came in here. And they sat down here. So there must be a clue here at this thing. Ah, what do you know? Look, it's the missing shoe from the clue. A clue. Where? Right there. Right where? Behind you. On the floor. Behind me? On the floor? Oh, hey. Look, it's a shoe. I wonder if this is a clue. It seems to be missing a piece. Size four with a broken heel. Hmm. Size four with a broken heel. I have the heel. Look at that symbol Most right there. All. all the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... Ugh, no. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Mm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. A shoe size four belonged to a maid. All right, so let's open up the case book. All right, let's go talk to some maids. I wonder if the maid's gonna be missing a shoe. Do you think she's still gonna be working with the missing shoe? Hmm. We're on to something here, chat. Yo, Brandon, what up, what up? Edward, what's good with it? Go talk to this lady right here. I wonder if she wears a size four. Let's examine her. A Scottish maid. Nothing appears to be on her shoe. Let me talk to her. Excuse me, ma'am. May I ask for your assistance? Oh, yes. I can tell you everything, sir. The staff said that Luca got a scolding from the chief steward for wearing a common shoes at work. She should be clearing, she should be cleaning near the pictures upstairs. All right, so let's go check upstairs and see if Luca's up here. Chat, make sure y'all hitting those reactions for me. I know some of y'all ain't gonna like games like this, but I find it quite interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, yes, it's quite exquisite, I do must say. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. I don't know, that don't Could sound... Could you help me? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. Hmm... Cleaning the... Ah, you. It's you, ain't it? Non-religious, friendly librarian. Is this familiar to you? I would never refuse a nobleman. But I know nothing, sir. I think you're lying. Excuse me, just one question. I would never refuse a nobleman. But I know nothing, sir. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? They're talking about something over there. All right, let me see what you got to say, John. Everyone is starting to look at us oddly. All thanks to Sherry, of course. He shouldn't approach people with such baffling questions. That sounds just like King, don't it? I mean, like, I could... Uh, you know what? Unless Sherlock changes tactics, we'll spend the next week seeking answers. There must be a better way to approach this. Sometimes I truly believe shit that Red can never be mistaken. I'm so proud to be by his side. Aw, oh, King, you're so sweet. Given his, given his insane inquiries, Red must be conducting an experiment on the effect of non-sequenters. Bananas are actually a herb. King, are bananas really a herb? 
Does Red use clues and deductions to determine who can answer his questions, or is it merely luck? Either way, a great success. How does Red always know exactly what to do? Get the answers. There are so many variables incredible. Red did it. He really did it. I should have bet on something more than difficult, like finding the man with his eyeballs closed. Hmm. She's upstairs, huh? I can't get in there. See, I have you yet seen a... That. You can't do that here. I can't get in there. The door seems to be locked. Excuse me there, sir. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. Damn. Y'all don't be talking. Man, you know what? Let me look at this Whoa. painting. What a breathtaking man. I forgot, how do you eavesdrop again? That's what we need to do. We need to eavesdrop on somebody. How did you eavesdrop? I forgot how you eavesdrop. Imagination. Gossip. Sometimes you will notice that the conversations are marked with the, okay, so you can only eavesdrop if you hear, if you have the ear icon. All right. Maybe she's on this side. We just figured out Reds. Oh, there she is. She's a sweeper. This is her. Yep, that looks like a size four. She's Ethiopian. This is her. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towels? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the. You wanted that years. diamond, didn't How you? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but. All right, Peter the Queen. I ask, who what are you? Queen. People keep on saying that. What queen? I'm solving a crime. I'm a writer. Should we lie or should we tell the truth? Lie or tell the truth, chat. I want y'all to help me play this. I want y'all to help me. I want y'all to get engaged. Oh, oh, really? She's dead? Damn, another stiff in a box. R.I.P. the queen. Damn. Lie. Do it. Do it now. Lie. I'm a novelist documenting the supernatural and those who witness it now. Should you take a starring role in the tale, I will need your name. Oh my. A book? And you want to include me? I'm Lucia. Lucia Saleta. Something went wrong during the seance, Lucia, but no one will tell me what happened. You would be a valuable interview if you were there. I was, and I saw everything with my own eyes. Oh, did you now? What did you see in this room? Describe what happened during the seance. A lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest, a glowing cloud or, or a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. Oh, it was a bubble saw. is what Pointed. it was. Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost, a sickly, evil thing. Hmm. Tell me more. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? What's up with it, Jermaine? Medium, Mr. Galici. He was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right, I have your account memorized. Good day. You lied to the poor girl, Sherry. What a tease. She'll dream about being a character of that book. Listen, Surely King. Sometimes you gotta lie to find out other things. But I didn't. I lied in good faith. There's a difference. Explain simple things to simpletons. If you lie in good faith, then that's a good thing. 
Let's go to the seance room real quick. I think we missed something. Chat, how y'all liking this game so far? Be honest. Is it something you want to see more of? Are you interested? Are you intrigued? Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. What is Lord that? Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Let me lay down right here and think about what's going on for a second. Hmm. I call this the outer body experience. This is where I lay down and I go outside my body. I look at things around me to see if I could get a better understanding of what happened in this general location. Like for instance, this chair. I will snap my finger and the lady will appear. I will then come over here to this location and snap my finger. Alakazam! Just like that. And then I will come right here. I will piece together exactly what happened in this room when it happened. Alakazam! Now, you will see that there's two individuals standing around the table. They both have chairs. They're screaming and bickering at each other. They're wondering what's going on. I must see if he swung the chair or if he tried to defend himself. Alakazam! <gasps> he then sat and she sat down. She pointed. She said, hey, what is that? Don't do that. This is Zam. <gasps> now there was two people pointing at each other. Kazam. The smoke arise from the chest. Kazam. So this is how they were standing, I presume. Because she was standing... The medium was standing here. Something came out of his chest. It must have been like this. Right? here's the window she was looking through the window she had to be sitting across from the medium the medium had to be sitting right here because his jacket was right here and he had to had the chair standing up because if he didn't have the chair then that would mean that she ah I got it I got it she <gasps> She was sitting here, and then he was right here. No, it can't be that. This guy, she had to have been sitting here, and he was right here. No, just like that. What do you think, chat? Does that look right to you? We know that the medium was right here. We know that part for a fact. Because you can see... No, hold on. I think I got it wrong. I think she was sitting here. No, she couldn't. She was across from him. This is it. This is it. You're not even trying, Sherry. I am trying. Hold on, let me think. Oh, she was right here. She was right here. 
He was right there. She was right there. No, because she saw something come out of his chest. So he would have had to been on this side. Hold on, let me look at a case file real quick. Lady Craven must have seen someone outside the window as she was pointing at the window. Okay, so Craven was pointing at the window. So that would put her right here. It's gotta be like that. Must have seen someone outside. She was pointing at the window. I'm certain that someone was in the courtyard during the scene. I found a broken heel beat. Okay, hold on. Two gentlemen and a lady and touching their hands. All right, so that's got to be right because that would put her next, him next to her and him right there. You're not even trying, Sherry. Okay, then if, then if it ain't that, then the guy with the chair here, and then dude right here. Like that. There it is. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. So she still got the diamond. Amazing. It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. 226. It's one of our finest suites. What's up with it, Timmy Crack Corn? The diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? I think she's still got a diamond. Let's go up to room... What room? What room did he say to go to? King? Room 226. Let's go talk to Craven. That's the wrong way. The Cravens are upstairs in way. room 226. All right, I'm going there right now. Room 226. I told you I'd find out who took the damn diamond. They thought that they could sit here and get off, get one away from me. Is this room 226, sir? Do you know anything about this? Uh, do, don't take it personally, sir. Uh, but I know nothing about this. Joey, what up, what up? You go to my mind palace real quick. Let me go to 226 first. There's 225. 223, 224, 226 is going to be on the far right. Lady Craven is oh. not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Lady Craven? Now I gotta remember how to do this. How to play. Gossip. Sometimes you'll notice that conversations are marked with the ear icon. These conversations are gossiping and be overheard. But 
Don't get too close to gossipers as they will notice Sherlock and stop talking. If that happens, move to a more discreet distance and press the conversation and then and discreet distance and the conversation will resume. Hold the left click when focusing on the ear. Okay. Lady Craven. What actions by Lady Craven accuse suspicion in the maids? Filter the valuable words from the relevant. Okay. Lots of guess in this. No. Discard that. Price is rising again. Discard that. Made her husband drunk. Let's keep that. Nope, that's wrong. Hmm. I must try this again. I failed. Yeah, I just started it. I failed, man. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Lady Craven? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? What actions by Lady Craven arouse suspicion in the maids? Sounds bad. I haven't heard anything about that. Filter the valuable keywords and the relevant character. Discard that. Discard that. I can't use a knife. Yeah, I did just start it. I'm trying to find out how you do this. Gossip can help you investigate a case or even discover a new one. So don't hesitate to eavesdrop on people. When you see an ear icon, press and hold that to filter out the important words. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Remember her behavior in the hall. What actions by Lady Craven arouse suspicion? I don't understand. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Ah, okay, okay, I got it now. What's up with it, driver? I got it now, I got it. I see what you Lady gotta do. Lady Craven is not who she seems. I see what you gotta do now. Okay, so... I wish you could put some Lady input. Is not who you she just have to rewind, Tim. I've been reading a lot of shit. So, you, if you're familiar with Sherlock Holmes, you know that he solves crimes and all that stuff. So, basically, you're Sherlock Holmes. You have to investigate. You have to listen. You have to take notes and all that. This particular case that we're working on right now is the first case. But you can rewind the stream because I, I've had to, I've had to do a lot of reading and all that. But as far as right now, we're we're almost about to solve our first case. We're just trying to put it all together right now. The chief steals food. I'm pretty sure that that's true. No. Nope. We're gonna discard that. I don't understand this part, man. 
Yeah, you gotta narrow down everything. Lady Craven is not. Lots of guests this summer. Alright, so use a fish knife. I gotta find out that other one. That, that first one was different. Lady Craven is. Discard. There we go. <gasps> I overheard two staff members talking about Lady Craven. They gossip that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven by their observation. She was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get the Lord Craven drunk. They also noticed that the lady was unsure how to properly use a knife. Ah, so that lady ain't even her, uh, his, uh, wife. Hold on, let's look at this real quick. What's point? Yeah, we already got that part. We already got that part. All right, let's go talk to him. You're here at last. I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, yeah, definitely after a you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. Was Emma with you? And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Where did you go after that? Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Where is the medium now? Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. What'd you do next? So what transpired after your detour to the bar? Yeah, it's I a really cool to my game. Room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention. I think once we first, get through our first case, still then with we'll be able to move through it better. Medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Barely an hour has passed, and you already mm. have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. I'm gonna go to my mind place real quick. I gotta piece together some things. Lord Craven was in the room with Emma. Lord Craven did punch medium indeed.
I not surprised? All right, what room did he say he was in? Do something about it, Holmes. Hold I, on, let me look I around real quick. It. You know that. I need to look around real fast, if you don't mind, there, sir. Let's see. Someone strangled her. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. The diamond. Is this the real diamond, though? This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. Yeah, there is, you're right. I didn't even think about that. A remarkably simple lock. Aha. Uh -huh. A neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? Yeah, we finna go to 225. Aha! Look! Hmm. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. The design is very familiar. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. What's this say? What does this say? Virtus or Dr. Sapit, courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. Fard Rouge, Calomel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past mm. and poor taste. Mm. Is that everything here? I feel like I'm missing something. But it does say five out of five, so that's all. I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she What's do up this? with it, chair? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out yeah, she had them all along. The, queen. the trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? That's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I... The plot thickens. Alright, so let's see. Laura Craven was in the room with Emma... The diamond was beside Emma. Emma was strangled. 
We don't know that. I think Emma was stealing. The lock can easily be picked. The door between Luca's room and Lord Craven's room has a weak lock and could be picked. Did not do it. You know that. Alright, what room was he in? Two to Let me see what this is. You promised me compensation, your gross misconduct, in order to cover the cost of your treatment and quell and the scandal. Yet I have not received a penny. You know that I lost my job after a false accusation. Now even after my innocence has been proven, I can return to work because of my family my hand injury. You continue to ignore me, I shall be forced to appeal to court. Someone was not happy with this post. Wonder if I Someone put was this not happy together. with this post. Someone was not happy with this post. You can't put that together. Yeah, RIP to Queen, man. Alright, let's go talk to old boy real quick. What room did he say he was in? 226, 225. So he's actually right next door. To where they're staying. King, what are you doing? Oh yeah, I gotta acquire the key. What are you doing? I must acquire the key to get into that door. I don't have the key for that door. I don't have the key for that door. I don't have the key for that door. In the evidence. Let's see. The probe thief. Go ask this dude a question real quick. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. You quickly pin evidence without going to your book. Cycle through. Ah, okay. How are we going to get this key? How do we get this key, chat? We gotta find a way to get this key. And there's still something that can be done in the mine palace and I haven't figured it out yet. The moth pen. The moth ring. Luca and Emma could have met before. Luca and Emma both have jewelry with the same mod design. They could have something in common all right so we know that i need to get a room key it's 226. give me the key to luca galici's room i need to talk to him about the events of the seance i suppose you are an impartial outsider all right but please do not give it to lord craven we do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come in. We finna go up here and talk to this dude and see what he's got to say. Yo, Russell, what up, what up, man? I didn't think we were gonna get the key that easy, to be honest with you. So 
to room 225. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure the spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I say... Yeah, this hasn't even wiped, wiped his nose yet. I think I would prefer to begin Still my investigation all in the physical him? realm. Let me observe you real quick. <laughs> What's that book he's reading? King, you ready? We got to see if we can get it right this time. All right. So the drawn complexion of what we determined. Skinny seems malnourished. Scratches on wrist. Freshly scraped. Slightly bleeding. Thin, elongated fingers. Trained in slight hand, sleight of hand. Slight discoloration. Used a lot of makeup. Bleeding nose. Took a heavy blow. Luca Galacci is lean and appears to be malnourished. His nose is bleeding from a heavy punch. His hands are thin and his fingers are different. His fingers are de definitely those of a thief. Trained in a de de delicate work of pickpocketing. He uses makeup to hide his possible gall tattoos. He, f he has fresh scratches and scrapes on his wrist from a, recent, from a recent and short fight. I believe he is more of a criminal than a medium. And, his, and this is his new way of earning money by deceiving the wealthy. We have two different choices that we can make. Either he's a formerly a thief that became a medium, or he is a medium that is down on his luck. I think he's a thief. What would you say? I'm definitely gonna go with thief. Thief? All right, we're gonna go ahead and confirm thief at this time. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh. No, wait, what am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. I, I'm not in the necessary state for summoning. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I... In fact, I did hear noises. That Craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh well, at least I can make the dead talk. Tell me about your scratches. Or should we provide evidence? Nah, tell me. You tell those me first. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. Hmm. Hmm. You promised me compensation. Sorry, that's beyond my expertise. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? 
The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewelry. Evidence updated. Mine place. Let's go to the mine place real fast. Damn, we're starting to get a lot of shit in the mine place. Lord Craven punched medium. The seance death. Lord Craven was in the room with Emma. Emma was strangled. The diamond was beside Emma. The lock can easily be picked. Emma was stealing from Lord Craven. Compensation for abuse. Luca and Lord Craven were neighbors. Fresh scratches, rough servants. So let's go. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. Do you always travel with your books, Mr. Galici? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unworldly. A familiar substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time, there's enough for analysis. Dear Luca, I hope you will have time to visit our estate and perform another science. Since I was last able to speak to my husband, though you, I feel that my life has changed completely. I cannot wait until I speak with him again. I am anxious for your visit. Sincerely yours, Countless Lamour. Hmm. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Or, or weapons and defenses against some clues can, from the great Some world. clues can be examined with your chemical analysis. Open your case book. Alright. Click on the chemical. And then do chemical analysis. Chemical and operations. Available reagents. Help. All right, drag out two reagents and then drag out an option. Link the reagents to the operation. Combine so the result matches the target formula. Ding. Addition combinations of two reagents, swap reagent from value positive to negative or vice versa. Increment adds one of the reagents value. How do you do this? I don't understand how you do this. Drag out two reagents. Drag out an uh, okay. Alright, so I gotta go here and then here. Does anybody understand this part? Understand this part yet? Hold on. Reset, unlink. Hold on. Chemical analysis. I 
need help, chat. Chemical operations. Drag out two reagents and drag out an option. Okay. Okay, so I should go boom. Boom. Like that. I don't understand this part. Reset. Are you sure you want to reset? Can I get some help, chat? Alright, so one. Two. There is no. Huh? There is no what? You can't be helped. You can't do that. Why? I want to do it. understand reset hell drag out two reagents and then drag out an operation okay so I just drag out one operation And then there's the green shawls. three and two on the right has to do with something okay I see what you're saying hold on are obviously right because they don't turn white right I would imagine understand this no I gathered a sample of ectoplasm hoping to prove its mundane origin the spirits say evaporates very quickly but this substance appears to be stable hold on maybe I gotta do it like this This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. Alright, it says some clues can be examined with chemical analysis. Open your casebook and highlight the evidence marked with the flask icon and press E. That's what I did. E.
drag out two reagents and then link the oh you gotta link them okay hold on so drag out two reagents hold the link okay those are linked but i don't think that's the right one i think it's gonna be hold on let me reset one two three all right so link Drag out two reagents. Drag out operation. Link the reagent. All right. Drag out two reagents. Drag out operation. not giving me nothing though. I don't understand. Put out a three and a two in the middle. Put out a three and a two. Put out a three and a two in the middle with the operation. I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, hold on. I see. I see. Success. All right, the reaction shows that it is rubber latex mixed with phosphorus. As much as the chemical element is dangerous to hold in the mouth, I'm quite disappointed. I expected to find something trickier. My faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. I gather a sample of lecture, hoping to prove the mundane origin and the reaction shows. Alright. Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. 
This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. This is all just a big misunderstanding. I don't understand, man. I'm confused now. Is there anything else that I need to do in here? So the lot. So let me go to the lot. It won't let me pin that. I can't pin that. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. So there's nothing left Bilge, here. Bilge, Balderdash, and Baloney, the lot of them. You always take me to the best of places, Sherry. Let's go talk to this dude real quick. Well, he ain't busted yet. There's something that I'm obviously missing that I haven't figured out yet. I'm figuring out all this stuff right now. Lord Craven is an unstable man who cannot manage his anger. I think we're going to have to go back and talk to uh, Lord Craven. Because I'm starting to piece it together, though. While roughly escorting Luca to be locked in his room, the servants mistreated and scratched him. Emma left scratches on Luca's hand while fighting for her life. I definitely agree with that. I think she was fighting for her life. Murder left the diamond. Whoever killed Emma left the diamond beside her. Lord Craven caught Emma with the stone. Lord Craven returned. I don't know, man. Do y'all think it was Lord Craven or do you think it was the medium? What do you think, King? I don't see why the. I mean, if the diamond is of well, value. Emma left scratches on the medium's hand. Ah, that's right. You're right. You're right. So because he knew he was scratched up, maybe he just set the diamond down? Because the diamond is the is the value, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then Lord Craven's the one that keeps saying the diamond belongs to him. You're right. Very true. Do something about it, Holmes. I I did not do it. You know that. I need to. I need to try to pick this lock. I think is what I have to do next. So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. 
I go outside and see where that compass leads. It's either got to be Craven or the Medium. But which one? It's going to come down to having to choose. And then if you choose right, then you'll know, you know what I mean? And I don't think I can get out here. I can't go that way. That way is locked. What sucks is you lose the compass once you go inside. Maybe go back outside. Back here. like the old man is losing it he believes are being ransacked and his bees are growing down one by the, his bees are going down one by one i don't think there's much honey left in stand with the swarm if you catch my drift meet me at the docks at noon we'll do it together mm. that's a pretty vital piece of information right there honey plotter's note who's honey plotter Emma lies dead in her bed, body still warm. Lord Craven is nearby, frightened and shocked. The bruises on the lady's neck show that she was strangled. To the bed around her is this airy. It appears that she fought for her life. There is a large diamond next to her, but the body of Lord Craven confirms it is was stolen during the seance. A bag with the lady's belongings is wide open with everything strewn around it. It had been scratched. The door between the rooms have, have a cheap lock. Lord Craven even told me that Emma died shortly after coming upstairs. He is very afraid of being accused and asked me to find a real murderer before he's taken to prison. He claimed that he spent more time in the bar before coming upstairs to find his mistress laying on the bed dead. The diamond was close by someone at the bar. Someone at the bar must have seen. All right, let's go to the bar. Someone at the bar. Maybe if I go to the bar, I could eavesdrop on a conversation and hear something. Guest noticed him. Sorry, maybe a guest noticed him. Might be this guy in the corner. He is acting pretty quiet. He ain't talking to nobody. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk.
Help me, please. Of course, sir. I'll tell you everything I know. I found a witness who advises that Lord Craven spent only a short time in the bar after he left the seance room. I gotta go to the mine palace. Gotta go to the mine palace. Lord Craven had enough time to kill Emma before I arrived. The murderer had time to kill Emma while Lord would. Yep. Looks like the old man is losing it. His beehives are being ransacked and his bees are going down one by one. I don't think there is much honey left in staying with the swarm. If you catch my drift, meet me at the docks at noon. We'll do it together. I don't have something right in the mind place. Something isn't right here. Lord Craven was furious when he discovered the MS stole from him. That's what it is. Lord Craven is a murderer. Lord Craven has problems with his temper. He strange Emma in a fit of rage when he found out she was stealing from him. Bring Lord Craven to justice. Craven cannot control his temper as the money and the influence to escape punishment. I must bring him to justice. Mercy for Lord Craven. They'll pray to a professional criminal given Emma's. See, I don't think. Raven could have done it because he could have found the clues that she was leaving around, basically saying that she was milking them for everything he was worth and the honey was running low, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. And she could have co-conspired with the medium, but then the medium ended up backstabbing her to try to get the riches. I don't know. Craven fell prey to a professional criminal given Emma's her killing was in an act of self-defense. Ah, uh, what do y'all think, chat? One or two, just tell me one or two. Bring Lord Craven to justice or mercy for him? I feel like he was being swindled, bro. I really feel like he was being swindled and then he caught on to it. Lock him up. All right. You only get one chance, chat. Raven cannot control his temper and has the money and influence to escape punishment. be sure to lock I know bro I don't I don't know yet maybe I just go up there and so right after I turned the corner I saw him the neurochrome sir he started to nervously look around but I quickly hid behind the gravestone common sense told me to run but my duty to you my readers was more important than the risks of my own life Luckily, the vampire did not notice me, and I continued the devilish ritual. He raised a woman from her grave and ordered her to kill two men who were close by. Then they kissed, and they made unholy love. 
and freshly i don't even know what that must be to another goddamn murder dark rituals at the graveyard Hmm. I don't know, dude. Let me pin this real quick and go talk to uh the medium and show him that indeed she did die. Do you know anything about this? I can't help you with that, sir. Didn't mean that. I don't know. I really don't. I could talk to the staff and see what they got to say. But I gotta find that girl again. And just see like what she says she heard. I don't know if she'll tell me. But it's worth the chance. I don't wanna fail our first case, man. gonna be late nah I already told her to take the bus I'm busy wow. <laughs> I hey I gotta solve the murder bro but I did tell her I'll get a robux if she takes the bus I don't know. I don't know what to do, man. I really don't. Such a shame that Inspector Placido vanished. I'd feel much safer with him handling this. Oh, I don't know what to do, man. I'm 80% on the husband. What's up with it, Jeff? I mean, we could run it. We can run it if that's what y'all want to do. We can run it. Go lock his ass up. Are we accusing him? King, are we accusing him? Do it. Oh my God. Accusing. I cannot cover for you, Lord Craven. The facts are conclusive. You murdered your mistress. It wasn't me. You have no proof, not a whit. You have bruised knuckles and you look a mess. The poor woman fought for her life, and you bear all the evidence. This whole evening was a mess. You know I got into a scuffle with the medium in the seance room. Nothing has changed since then. You entered the room just as Miss Emma was hiding the diamond. Discovering that she was the thief was the final straw. Preposterous! I didn't know a thing about it until you showed me her stash. 
couple of whiskies go down fast for an alcoholic. That left you plenty of time for murder. That's ridiculous. I am no alcoholic. And there are witnesses who will attest I was there for at least a quarter of an hour. There's plenty of proof, sir. The police would certainly arrest you. You scoundrel. You said you would help me. I had nothing to do with it, as you will soon see. I don't know, bro. Like, he does have a good alibi, bro. He might have just been beating the medium's ass because he knew that her and her were, her and him were in on it. Is he rotting in jail or what? Or are we going to help him? I mean, think about it, bro. A medium saying that he fucking seanced the demon and the demon stole the fucking thing. Like, Oh, oh man. Roman jail. What do you think, King? <laughs> uh... yeah, everyone says he's gone, so he's gone. He gone. You are dangerous, Lord Craven. Beating your servants no, is one thing, but healthy. murder is another. Oh, you will not get away with this. I'll get out of this, Mr. Holmes, and I swear I'll find you. I will find you! Don't you bastards dare touch me! Holmes, you'll rue the day you gave me my cane when it comes swinging at your head! If Craven wants to claim his innocence, he should be more he careful is how he talks. He is. Money talks too, Sherry. Let's hope it's not too loud. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness, so we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything, even murder, and then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the truth. I don't truth think we got it right. John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence. I don't Thank think we much. did. Hmm. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? Uh, a figure of we speech. We didn't get it right. Just a figure of speech. Ah, <sighs> it was a medium, uh, man. Take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. Got it. We got it. Oh, we got it. Ace complete. We got it. Holy shit. A mother's love is the next one. So did we really get it? Yeah, we got it. Okay. Oh, I didn't think we got it. All right, y'all. I'm going to take me a little break, man, and uh, get something fixed for the kids and everything. Because they'll be getting off the bus here shortly. Hey, look, if y'all want to see some more, sure. I ain't going to lie. I like the game, right? But I will say, like, the first story, it was a lot of figuring out and all that stuff. But I did learn a lot with it. I do want to play it again. I do like the game. But I'm only going to play it if y'all want to see it. I'm not going to play it because I want to play it. And then, you know, uh, people ain't liking it and all that stuff. But I really do enjoy the game. So do me a favor, man. Put it down in the comments. Let me know if you want to see some more Sherlock Holmes. Do you want us to save... I mean, do you want us to solve this case right here? The next case is going to be a mother's love. I'll read a little bit of it. John decided to look for a free table and asked me to collect the complimentary. Uh, this word right here from the bar. I've got a dish. Time to see if John found us a good place. Found an exotic cane. I, well, that's one we already done, I think. 
But this one right here, I think, is the next case. It's going to be called the Mother's Love. So we'll see what happens there. If you want to say it, then we'll uh, go ahead and play it out. Other than that, man, big shots out to the whole Red Squad family, Red Squad community. Thank y'all for being who you are and doing what you do day in, day out. As you already know, if there is no you, there is no me. And for that, I'm forever indebted and grateful to each and every single one of y'all. I love y'all to death. I appreciate you even more. I'll see y'all later on tonight, man. Much love. I'm gone. King. You did good, man. You did good. Yeah. Get on your grind, shorty K. City slicker ray. Cow. Kick it flake, y'all. Got my brothers and we mobbing through the streets. If it's trouble, better know we brought the heat. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. In the streets of the blood, sweat, and tears. You can look inside my eyes, there's no fear. Oh, yeah.